run. Welcome to Meth May Discussion, episode 232, with your hosts, Guru Dean and Mandala Rob Pagan as your guests. And now, live from Connecticut, here he is. Take awesome. it away. Thank you both. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. Yeah. All right, folks that are watching. Man, big thank you to Brian, his son. Uh, what an incredible young man and playing that guitar. Man, that was wow. Wow, 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 wow. Kids got talent, uh, needless to say. All right. So uh, welcome, folks that are watching FMA Discussion. This is episode 232. And as Brian mentioned, our guest tonight is Mandala Rob Pagan. And we're going to be going over his PTK journey. Um, we're going to cover some of his Carenza projects, and we're going to cover also, uh, I thought was really pretty special, a vid on some long-range sparring. I was able to download that. We're going to show that. So there's going to be a lot of tell, but there's going to be some show with the tell. So I hope you guys stick around. If you are watching, please tell us where you're watching from. Smash that like button, and we are just getting started. So I want to thank you for coming on. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you for having me, girl. Thank you. Yeah, no, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. No, I, you know, I'm I'm glad this uh, happened. You came highly recommended, and uh, enough said. So, um, oh, it's fun. I want to say congratulations again on your uh, promote your KI instructor from, from Guru. Oh, I appreciate. It. I'm still trying to figure out if it's a blessing or a curse. I don't know. Oh, I know what you mean on that. <laughs> <laughs> like, huh? You know what I mean? That's I, awesome. I, 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 you know? I, I, I was like when I saw that. Wow. That's yeah, amazing. it's, you know, there's not a lot of us. Um, no, you know, it's kind of like, but it's a forever journey. You know, it's one, but I, you know, I'm not looking at, oh, I got this. I can, you know, I could just stop now. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I'm planning to go as deep as I humanly can. I right. get as much expressions, you know, uh, and this is why I'm kind of excited to have you on because when you're, you're under the kind of the three sanctions there under PTK umbrella, well, I'm also, Burton, Brandon, I get the lens from David, I've been near. So I kind of, this could be interesting parallel to see like, you know, what some of your conclusions are going through all that and all that. So I'm excited when we get to that aspect of the interview to talk about that. And oh, yeah. But uh, for starters, you know, just, you know, for me, for folks who don't know, and I gotta be honest, I've heard the term, I'm, I have a guess what it means, kind of maybe in between ranks, but why don't you tell us and the folks, what does mandala mean? Well, believe me, uh, when I got uh, awarded, when I say awarded, but I was blessed by uh, Grand Tuangahe at Mandala, I knew it was really a huge, huge thing. And actually, you have the Tuhan and you have the Mandala. And Mandala, I'm doing my research and, and through friends of, of helping me, who uh, of, the, of the language, uh, means uh, <laughs> mastery of the art. So I, I, I used to get hit a lot, actually, by uh, other uh, uh, PTK uh, uh, instructors who just doesn't, they're not really, uh, they keep themselves uh, out of the, you know, the, of the limelight. They do their thing, but they're like, when I got a w w blessed by GT, they were like, hey, do you know what that means? Do you know what, what that's all about? And, you know, I'm like, I knew it was something real serious when I got mm -hmm. it. It was something like I just, oh, hey, I'm, a, you know, and uh I didn't get all of it, but he gave me a big, huge description of Mandala. I was like, oh, I was like, oh, shit. You know, mm. like that's, uh, <laughs> that's serious. It's a big thing. So yeah, it's interesting that, you know, we as, you know, the term is we don't understand the language, what we get to be bestowed upon of the ranking. But, you know, before you take in a rank or bestowed, make sure we do our research of what that means, you mm. know. And there's a lot of meaning to it. So when I got that, it means mastery of, of the art. You mastered the art. So I was like, okay, it's 
game on. <laughs> That's impressive. So as far as compare and contrast to Tuhan, like, is it around that, below it, above it, depending on how you look at it, I guess? I mean. Uh, it's um, it's above it. It's above it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's, wow. Well, man, and there's not, I mean, how many mandalas are there? I mean. Uh, roughly, uh, there's a couple. I mean, if, if you're going to talk about within an organizations, uh, like, uh, in, in, in PTTA, uh, there's a couple, I think, I think I, I'm not, I don't, don't want to guess, but I'll say maybe five, maybe, right. or, or, or more. Uh, I know, um, and, uh, that's called Keithers Tactical Association, PTTA. Oh, uh, Jared. okay. Tuan Jared. Gotcha. Okay. Tuan Jared. And then there's Piki Tersha Akali Katapunan, which is based out of the Philippines, uh, mm. headed by uh, Tuan Mik Akaraz. And then under them, too, is uh, Tuan uh, Bob Rodriguez and Tuan J. Bataclan. And there's a couple of mandalas as well, myself, plus uh, others from one from South America, uh, one from the, um, somewhere in South Africa, around there. Okay. And two more. And then, uh, as in Piquita International, I haven't seen any. Um, don't quote me, but uh, I don't know if the, the, of that terminology is in there of, okay. of the mandala. But I believe it is. But I haven't seen anything with that. And if we're talking about PTK like SMF by Two Anton Wade, I don't know, but I'm sure they have a Ranky Circle mandala in there as well. So all I know mm. is we're a part in the organization I'm, I'm in. So this is interesting. Wow, I, I got to be honest with you. I didn't. Uh, I've always heard the term, but I had no idea as far as uh, the meaning or how significant it was. So, are there mandalas out there that necessarily did not receive it from Gaihe, but perhaps from the Tuhan within their organization? Is that occur? Oh yeah, uh, yeah absolutely. There's, there's, okay. you know, here, here's the thing on, on this. There, there's, there's nothing in my opinion. There's no wrong. It receiving from a Tuhan within the organization or receiving it from, from a uh, Grand Tuhan guy. Either or, I think Either it's or the most just, just most blessing thing you, you can okay. get because it's really, it's about the trust. They're trusting in you. They're, 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 it's a blessing from them to you. Mm -hmm. So there's no really a, a hierarchy. It depends who, who it is from, you know. But as for Grand Tuhan, um, I say, the last of the mandala that he uh, promoted was probably was within 2019, mm. and that was it. I don't, I don't, I don't. After that, then COVID happened and everything. You know. Yeah, and everything kind of just. Yeah. 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 Um, but it's a. It, even if you not get it from the old man, I mean, man, if you get if you get a, a rank by two on Jared or two on Bill McGrath or you know two on Mick or. Mm. Uh, Two on Tim Wade, or uh, uh, you know, uh, two on Philip Galinas, or, or two on Rom uh, Romel Tortal, or you know, two on Arbalata, two on Leslie. All these guys, you know, if they promote you, man, that's awesome. That's just amazing. Yeah, you know? I mean, just yeah. just based on the meaning alone, I mean, that that's pretty incredible. I mean, just you know, again, I've always heard the term, but I didn't know. You know, I did. I wasn't sure of every sanction incorporated that term or some sanctions did others didn't it was a kind of in between guru and tuhan or yeah a bit more separate kind of yeah, each, each uh even to paul Audrey has a two uh, uh, mandala each organization has their own uh ranking and st uh, structure yeah well, it makes sense you know, okay. like it, as every martial arts school will have sure. their own ranking structure from every you know culture from chinese japanese you name it you know level one level two level three you know and i'm not going to say i'm not the foremost or expert when it comes to that but i know when you have like lacan like lacan isa so you yeah. have like like one through ten i'm pretty sure if this was explained to you but you have like one through ten and after ten then it goes up to the next guru and then it goes guru isa like that you know it moves on up I've heard but that each structure is different through each of the uh, uh Pikiti or you know the filipino martial arts organizations I think it's kind of a neat term. I got to be honest with you. It's always intrigued me, like Mandala. Like you've heard Guru, you hear Tuan, you hear Maestro, you hear Master, you hear GM. Yeah. But Mandala has a really unique ring to it. I have to be honest. Like I was like, um, I don't. Know, I think it's kind of neat. It's it's not. It's one of those less travel titles. You, you know what I mean? You know? It is. It is. That's why it's it's one of those uh, unique perspective. Like Matas no Guru, believe it or not, that's a very high 
high a prestige of a, of a rank you know and it's interesting when you get mandala like i said mastery it's like okay uh they're you know pay your dues and and you know but you know show what you do yeah you know, that is within the mastery of of the system or no, yourself. I mean, right they're not handing that out like candy i mean that's you know um, yeah. I mean, for sure. That's, that's, wow. That's awesome. Um, good. I'm so glad I asked this question because again, it, I was always intrigued. I just, I don't know. You know, I didn't really know the full meaning, but I knew. I didn't either. I was, didn't, I was like, I knew, I knew what it was. And yeah. see, that's, 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 I mean, this was, and I got promoted back in 2017. Oh, okay. Yeah. 2017. Uh-huh. Oh, and then, um, huh. Wow, that's neat. I'm uh, like again, uh, you know, I'm glad I asked that. Uh, I tell you, it's one of the neat things about these shows when you get the different systems. I mean, like it's a lot of it is so educational. You know what I mean? Like, um, like you find out, like there was a lot of things. You know, I was, always knew about Martin Nice, but doesn't mean I knew about Martin Nice. You know, and so right. like, through these interviews, you really find out like about stuff like that. So I guess it's, but it's fair to say, my dollar is definitely kind of associated with PTK, like I've never heard that being used in other FMA systems. Is that right? Okay. Uh, okay. Not that I know of. I don't know even in any other FMA. I don't, I mean, I don't either. Like I know Antians and Sayok adopt Tuhan, but I never heard them adopting Mandala. No. Yeah. So yeah. I think it's pretty fair to say that I think it's sounds like it's a special thing, unique thing to PTK, which is, that makes it nice, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, all right, we got that squared away. Mandala. <laughs> so oh, I mean, make sure before, and I, I will say this, you know, do the research in any of your FMA systems. Don't just don't gradually be like, oh, thank you so much. I got this. Mandala, you know, or any, and you're just like. Yeah, because you got, you didn't you know, even really understand, like, understand what you're doing, what you're, you're going for. And sometimes if the instructor is like, hey, I think you're ready for, uh, for this. Oh, really? Yeah. And then you're like, okay, yeah, no problem. And then you're like, no, 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 pump the brakes, you know. And it's it's really hard to say no to your teacher you know you know when they're yeah. gonna promote you like are you sure you want to promote me to this i'm like no, no, no. Oh, i went through that one time and it's tough because do you say no yeah and you're like oh you say yeah. no to me why oh you don't trust me or you think i'm lying and then that's why oh, no, 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 no. i was in that position one time and it wasn't that uh it's awful i'm talking about i'm not even exaggerating sleepless nights i'm telling cool. you man you know, oh, and you're like, what do I do? But I think it's 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 kind of like in a way when you have a Filipino uh, instructor or the family. Mm -hmm. Either way, what which you take it, th doesn't matter. You know, either it's no, it's no yet. But at the end, you, it's you're screwed either way. Yeah, you know? and I think if I had to, I know it's it's a tough one, and it's obviously the variables are going to be different from person to person, the situation, right. and you can't just say, well, you, you know, you should. Yeah, I, I tell you, and then, and then not you an peers, easy scenario. You got your peers. You got your peers yeah, that's the whole right? thing. Like my sleep yeah. is nice. Oh my God, what are they gonna think? I'm like, oh no, no, no. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I almost in the fire. I was God, like almost right? going to uh, going to see therapy. <laughs> <laughs> we got some folks already jumping in. Oh my gosh, we got already got 18. We got Royce. All right, we got Richard Pacman from san diego we got maestro alvin we got tuhan jack we got terry maestro terry and Ky oh kylie doug and brian brian that was excellent please tell zane that was absolutely incredible and thank you brian as well and we got frank all right maestro frank all right and just want to make sure i'm not missing you no question okay so what what was your first all right so your martial arts background what i mean i i guess what um you know, what led you, you know, where'd you start and kind of what led you to uh, FMA? Uh, actually, so I was, I was raised here in the city of Carson, here in Carson, California. Oh, Burton. And yeah, Carson, California is the Mecca of the Philippines, uh, pretty much. But then you got the Bay, of course, Stockton and above. But mm -hmm. as the Los Angeles area, like Carson is the, the Mecca uh, of, of Filipino towns, like a little Manila here. So I was okay. the only Latin boy in the Filipino like, you know, community and then we had neighbors. And then that's how I, uh, my, my grandparents, I grew up, my grandparents raised me and my mom and then they go to work and then they would drop me off like with the Filipino neighbors, you know, and then I kind of, that's how I kind of grew in the culture. Mm -hmm. And then my dad uh, had a lot of friends. 
uh, which I just found out more and more. But my dad took me to like these boxing gyms and 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 the karate schools, and he would like go up to his bros and hug and everything. And my dad was a fanatic of Bruce Lee and the martial arts. You know, he was really into it. And lately, I, I realized I just found out that my father. Uh, knew a lot of the Kali Academy from Guru Dan of the old school of the Kali Academy school. So I found out like recently by a guy named uh, Guru Cameron Rico, who is a boxing champ. Uh, he says like, hey, are you Roberto Pagan? And then he was like, yes. Is your dad Roberto Pagan? I was like, yes. And I showed him the pictures. Yep, that's your dad. Me and him were the best bros. So he had a lot of friends within the Kali Academy that I didn't even know my dad talked to me about, but I can remember oh. him. Yeah, and he took me to IMB Academy, uh, and that's where I, you know, saw the boxing ring. I saw these Wing Chun dummies. I was like seven years old. Yeah, and that's cool. Was just, mm. get knocked out, and I was kind of just born right into it. So I guess that's where I just got this profile of, of that, and that's how I was exposed to the Filipino martial arts. And then I started with IMB Academy with Guru Richard Bastia, Guru Dan, and uh, since I was like ten years old, and I've been with in the JKD Kali family since then. Since ten years old. Wow. Yeah. So you were so when they did the split, did you do you stay with the IMB? Or I stayed with the IMB because IMB was just down the block. I had no car. But trust me, I would love to go with Guru Dan, but he moved. He went to Marine Del Rey in the nineties, yeah. mm -hmm. and then IMB stood, and I just stayed with Guru Richard Bastillo, and then I just stay there, and I just get my my nights. Uh, I get punched out. My lights knocked out all the time over there. Yeah, it's funny. Um, but still, obviously, those don't know, really em heavily emphasized on Western boxing. Um, so I was supposed to get certified under him. Oh, wow. And so I was, our, so Chris Smith was Bastillo's rep right here in Canada yeah. And I was certified under Chris Smith. He goes, hey, look, you know, you should be under, uh, Bastillo wants to certify you. Um, he's seen you move and uh, I'm vouching for you. But and I didn't, I refused it because, and I have nothing against this FMA system. I really don't. And I just, I, don't, I hope folks don't misconstrue this. I really, really don't. I just wasn't down with Dose Paris. All right. So since you put that out, I, no, I, I have nothing okay. against it. Okay. I have nothing so that's against interesting it. to put that because when, when, when the, the school was there, right? When, when Guru Dan was there, there was a lot of the Kali of the, of the like from the lot of the Villa Brio, the Serata in there, there mm -hmm. was all the good, you know, yeah, the blend, you know, yeah, right. And then when Guru Dan left and went to start school up in the 90s, then things started to go, and then uh, and then we started practicing, and then, then we started like, wait a minute, this is different. And then it, it just didn't, I, you know, what as Guru Dan says, it might not be for you. And as much as I try to get in Dulce Bodies, and I was young too. And I was, I was like, no, I didn't, I didn't like this, you know. And I did week off, you know, but I wanted to learn the tradition, like the culture that Guru Dan was doing. Like, I like that a lot, like the empty hands, the way there was just something about it. But you're right, I'm with you on that. On the like, I just, the fire was just, just, I just couldn't do it. So in other words, yeah. I wasn't going to go get the rank for the sake of being under, you know, the first lineage of Bruce Lee and just do it for that. By meanwhile, hating a huge aspect of that. Of what fell under the umbrella that came along with the side dish, right? So, yeah, you know that. I always wonder about that. Did I make the right decision? But now looking back, I know I made the right decision. Yeah, you did. That's why you're a guru and uh, a ki instructor. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I, don't get me wrong. But I say with it. I say I saw the other Filipino no. martial arts uh, outside of the uh, uh, out of the IMB, and I still did the. The, the Kakoi Dose Paris method, but mm -hmm. what values I've learned from the IMB is I remember when I get there, I used to, I want to learn trapping so bad, you know, like, I want to mm -hmm. do trapping, I want to do these traditional, right? And, uh, you know, what did I do? I go ask Guru Richard and uh, I said, I said, Guru, I said, hey, are we going to do any trapping? And he was, he looked at me like, do you know how to punch? Do you know how to take a punch? Yeah. Huh? Do you know how to, do you know how to bob and weave? Do you know how, do you know do you know how to respond to a bloody nose or do you know what to do? And he's yeah. like, I was like, no. Then shut up. Never mind that bullshit. Get in the ring. And, and, and I can tell you the whole thing. I'll, I'll, let you know. I'll let you know when you. I was like, damn. Because yeah. at that time there was the phase levels. 
you know, still. Oh, phase one. The phase and, two, three, yeah, yeah two. And everything, you know. So Guru Rich was all about like get in there and get the shit beat out of you and learn how yeah. to uh, defend yourself by that way. And this guy, and he will always like, I go work on the weight room. And then if they're short on sparring for, for, yeah. for anything, he'll just go like this, look in the weight room. He sees me like, go get your stuff. Get on right now. I'm like, damn. Then I'm like, you know, he's like, never mind that weightlifting crap. You ain't doing shit. Go get in there. Get your gloves on. That's so go. interesting. Like, <laughs> wow, I had no idea that you were part of that at such an early age. See what I mean? You, what you find out in these interviews? Um, I have a, you know, it's a funny story about Burton in regards to uh, Bastille's philosophy on trapping and uh, inspiring. So what they would do is they would, back in the day, they would make a new class. So they would give everybody a phone call on the waiting list. Hey, we're starting a new class. If you want to come, come down. Oh, wow. And, yeah. This is from Burton. Obviously, I wasn't there. So the new class was the boxing class done by Stiller. So Burton <laughs> said it started out 40 people, 40 people ready to go. They did sparring a couple weeks in, I'm guessing, maybe. The class went from 40 to 10. That's right. <laughs> That's absolutely right. That is correct. That is correct. <laughs> Man, That's why he was the Iron Dragon. You know, yeah. because uh, you, if you try to go up a phase, like if you try to sneak in the phase or whatever, like, where are you going? And like, oh, I got promoted by whom? By me? No, by Guru Dan. Bullshit. Get your ass back to phase two. You ain't going to phase three, four. Because that's the thing. Because people didn't want to hit spark because they get yeah. hit. They didn't want to get hit. And it was rough. It was Not tough. Bad. I got, I was like, when I got older, like 14, I was getting thrown in the ring with, but by, by, by two pounders, you know? And then mm. I was like, man, I'm getting out of the ring. And the guru was like, where are you going? And I'm like, I'm done. Like, you get out of this oh, ring, oh. you're out. You're not coming back. And I was like, damn. So I go back in. I fight. But every time I, I learned something, he gave yeah. me a wisdom and a philosophy. What did you learn today? And then I was like, oh, you know? And that's mm. it. So he made me discover my JKD, my fighting in the ring, in, in, in boxing or through Muay Thai. Yeah. And that's what I tell you. And this is one thing about trapping. And I, I don't really talk about this because I kind of my JKD days are kind of over. And I, I don't because um, I got so heavily deep in FMA. Uh, but the thing with the trapping is if you don't have a good understanding of boxing, it's going to be really tough to pull off you in all that, especially oh, yeah. with somebody moving and all that. Now, you got somebody against the ropes. You get the cohesion. Yes, your pox out, your juice out, your lops out, your tons right. out. Yeah. But moving? Well, yeah. no, man. And, he, and that's the thing. It has to be second nature. That's why you box to the point where you like nothing will phase you. Like if you throw a jab, it's not going to probe you anymore, right? You throw a jab, mm -hmm. back, and you just like you, you – you pocket, you know, but it'll face right, right. You, you, you get a burn, you, you, get a burn and, right, you know, you go like this, like, oh my god, and you're like, and then you're just getting molded in your body shots and everything, and you got you're on the ground, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I think, yeah, when I look at JKD, yeah. like, and I don't, I don't go to the last sites anymore, like, once in a while, I, I'll just see something and I'll look at it, and of course, it's they're all stuck in reference point, generally speaking. I'm not saying, yeah, no, 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 they, mm -hmm. they're all just stuck in that reference point. I'm like, well, nothing's changed in 20 years. <laughs> I love trapping. I, 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 I'm a geek. I love trapping. Yeah. I, I fell in love with Paul Brunak's trapping, the seafood Paul Brunak. And, uh, yeah. you know, to this day, it's like, God dang. And then I I, uh, and I know we're getting a little tangent here, but I just want to talk about also with uh, uh, Coach Danny uh, Terrell uh, from PTI. Yeah. Uh, my top uh, coach. Yeah. So I touched hands with him just last a couple of weeks. And, man, I was blown away. And then his teacher is seafood Francis Fong. Now, he made me a believer. So now like, I was like, okay, I might have to. Now I'm really gonna check out Stephen Francis Fong because no, when I touch that guy's supposed to be incredible. Oh damn! I was like, yeah. this is some trap. This is some good yeah, stuff. Yeah, he's supposed to be incredible. Incredible. Yeah. Oh, I mean, his his uh his knowledge is like out the door. I mean, he's like what in his early 90s now or something. Like, <laughs> no, he's seriously. He's I out think there. Uh, he's, he's somewhere, he's there, man. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. I know he's up there in age, you know. He, he's old school, man. He's a tough cook, man. He's a humble, genuine, funny man. But, man, yeah. um, you, you start, he get he gets going like he's 
That's it, man. No, he's obviously legendary status for good, you know, for good reason. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, all right. So you're you're in this academy at right young age, um, getting knocked around. Mm. <laughs> um, so when um, so from there, what kind of led you to um, PTK? Yeah. So uh, I I stopped with IMB at the age of, I think, what, uh, 22, because I left into the Army in 1999. Okay. Uh, that's what I was 22, and then I got 2003. And then from 2003 and up, I, I was going back to IMB, but just, like, lifting weights. And I started going to more disciplines. I, did, I, I, I dabbled it all. I went to Wing Chun, see for Gary Lamb Wing Chung. I did that for a bit, and I stopped. And then I went into American Kempo Karate and the Ed Parker system. I tried that. I got to Orange Bowl, then I stopped. And then I was like, I was just on this journey, just like, okay, you know what? Mm. I, I got to do something more than just JKD and FMA. And then um, I went into uh, Silat Sarak under Paul uh, uh, Pak Vic de Oh, okay. And I have to say with that, uh, uh, you got to be a maturity for that because that's a very, very intellect, very up there. You know, you, you know, it's, 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 in my opinion, it's not for teens. I think you have to wait to get to the maturity of adulthood to really understand okay. what's going on with the rock system. You know, it's a very comprehensive art. I did Haran Go, I did that for a little bit, stopped, and I was like, gosh. So I just went to this whole circle and then I just came right back to FMA. FMA. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then, uh, and then when I got back to FMA, it was in 2008. So I went back mm. in the military. Okay. I went back in the military because uh, I had a son at the time, and my son had brain damage and everything like that. And oh. you know, he needed he, he needed more medical uh, be, better benefits, and the oh, LA benefit man. for insurance was is horrible over here. So oh, there's a boy. thing called Families Members Program to the military, and I went in the army. But I said if I go back in the army, I'm going to special operations. So I I had a plan. I said, you know what? I want to learn. I want to go special operations and join the 75th Army Rangers. And then with that, I want to specialize in blade. And I did Sayak Bali and I did Atienza too. Oh, did you really? Yeah, yeah. I did Sayak in 2003 uh, with uh, Guru Joy Pena and uh, Guru Danny. Danny, if I can remember. This is the Long Beach. I stayed for a little bit, but then I stopped because... It's pretty much you know how it goes. It's no, I I left. Uh, that's a whole nother story. Uh, that's right. another. That's another whole. Another yeah, problem. and Atienz, and Atienz I great. left. Uh, I left, I, but, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it so much. Yeah, I, I fell in love with the blade and the knives, and uh, I love it. I love the rigs and everything. Mm. I, 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 you know, so back in two thousand eight, I said, okay, I want to get back into FMA, but I want to go into a system, not a conceptual system with. Mm. 100,000 one. I don't want to do that no more because th there was so many of that during the uh, the eighties, the eighties and the nineties, and up to then, you know. So I did my research, and I remember Piki Tertia, and I remember Piki Tertia was one. I I, I did see Grant Juangahe when I was a kid, like around like a little after ten years old, because he did a seminar up at Guru Dance Place. Oh, I did not having him in a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I remember when I, I buy all it's like Kung Fu magazines, and I remember this emblem, right? And the emblem to this day was PTI. You know, you got the guy doing a low that like low thrust, and the guy is doing a pakal high, you know. Yeah. And that's always captured me, like, like, what the hell is this? You know? And I said, It's in New York. I'm like, God, you know, like, you know, so it's like, so I always kept following that, and I would and I followed Tuhan Bill for the yeah. longest time and GT, them two. And then when 2000 came in, I, I just typed in like, okay, I want to do that, Piquet Tertia. And, and then the next thing you know, Piquet Tertia Kali Global Organization System, which was okay. Juan Tim Wade, and then it was uh, Grand Tuan Gahe, and then also with uh, Tuan Ramalto Dahl. And then that's how I got into that. And I wanted to learn that and teach Blade to the special operations, and which I did. So I went in 2008, I went to Airborne School, went to RIP, Ranger and Doc, and Doc Processing, 150, 150 people and only 50 people gra uh, graduated and i was the one that got selected and i was in second 75th uh, oh, uh wow. and then that's from that moment and then two on tim wade made me the study group leader and that's how my journey from that moment for so from two that on, moment. okay two on tim okay so big yeah. into the tri v 
kind of. No, um, so a two antigen weight one is was which is a dosing methodos. Dosing methodos, okay. okay. And and yeah, so I was within the dosing methodos, which I I learned the twelve methods, and within twelve method equals to sixty four attacks. Sixty four. So uh, and, and with that, uh, when I was with two antigen weight, all we did in there it was grand two on in time was footwork 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 a steady dose of footwork yeah <laughs> you know and that's all we did left 45 right 45 angle ones and twos and perfected those angle ones and twos perfected mm -hmm. your timing perfected your beats perfected your range perfected your uh, precision your accuracy before you mm -hmm. start getting into all the the, the, the close stuff right because you gotta learn how to utilize understand its methodology and, and and tactics and strategical from the PK tertiary system and then put uh -huh. it put it together. Wow. So yeah. then so you all right, so you you're with uh, Tim Wade. Um where did you as far as I guess um what made you well let's go here before we go cover into where you went as far as the other PTK instructors or sanctions, what I mean what resonated with you to want or what maybe made you come to the conclusion that PTK was was the one for you? Like, what made you want to continue and go deeper? Oh, um, I never met a system vast and huge like PK Tertia. There was nuance and information in the system itself, you know. So what happened was, which is interesting, is that GT Grand Tuhan he planted seeds on each and every different of instructors. Okay. So. He focused more knife on this instructor, way a lot more. He focused on single stick on one. This one instructor, so much more. He focused on doble this more and more. So what's interesting with that, and I saw that with my own eyes, and then Guru Dan, because I'm a student uh, uh, at the academy, in, in the Santo Academy, and um, he was telling stories where he was like, you got the Texas group, you got the East Coast group, and you got mm -hmm. the West Coast group. He was saying the West Coast group were all about he taught more they were knife guys, all knife guys, PTK. Okay. And the East Coast were more like the single stick guys. And the Texas group was like, you know. So when they come into the conference together, instructors like, what what is that? And they're like, what, you don't know this? No. But oh, then the they're all getting that. different information. Oh. Right, right. So in other words, the old man was a genius. He's like, I'm not gonna put everything in one person. Right, that is very clever. Because if that one person, God forbid, passes away, then their source, the information is gone. Wow, this right? is first time, this is new, fascinating. Like, yeah, because if you look at the East Coast, Bizio and all them, they were kind of known for the stick. I mean, you know, yeah, I mean, right. Um, if you look at Tim Wade, it's more, I guess, a little both, but the West Largo. Coast and the knife. Largo, yeah. like his Largo work, yeah, Largo, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you will see a lot of that. So, so that means I what I did was, and I don't want to jump. Uh, I know you're about to answer this question, but I was like, I wasn't. I'm still on that journey and still fulfillment. And it's kind of like KI, you know, KI. You have different uh, instructors, and then you're like, wow, mm -hmm. this is something from Tatang. We never yeah. saw this, and then you see this, and you're like that, and you're yeah. like, geez, like, what do I do, right? Oh, so oh my gosh, yeah, I know. I went through all that. Yeah. And you want to continue your journey and yeah. learning more and more in depth of the art. And that is my dream is continued. It's, it's, it, it doesn't stop. The system is so huge, you know? Yeah. Depending on, right. That's fascinating. Wow. So then, um, all right. So we know it's keeping there. So next stop from Tuhan Tim, where did you, who'd you seek out after that? <laughs> so, uh, uh, let me tell you my story. I'll, 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 I'll get a little more and more in depth. And, and it has sure. nothing to do with it. It's, uh, it, it got really, of course, political. I, so I, I can't I, believe I, that. I, 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 entered, I entered in a day where it was like, oh, my gosh. It was a, it, it was a bloodbath between mm -hmm. another, uh, com, another PTK community. So I got it right in the midst of the pond. And uh, I used to go, and I used to go to instructors' conferences over uh, at Two Aunt Tim's in Texas, and I used to stay at his place, you know. Mm -hmm. And and then we would talk and everything, and you know, and there's a, it's it's, it's so Roman Caesar, you know, the way how everything is, you know. And then what happened was I, it got to a point where I kind of like, hey, Two Aunt, I think you need it. You need to change your, you know, 
be careful with this, you know, like, ah, don't worry. So I'm like, oh, okay. And, no, uh, I am worried. <laughs> <laughs> and then sure enough, on, uh, on one fateful day on 2011, on I think two days before Thanksgiving, midnight, yeah. a letter came out and says, uh, be and before all that, let me, let me, before all that, let me, let me go. The, and PTK Geo instructors was consisted of more of 60 plus or more. And they were all great. They were all Mavericks, all Mavericks. You know, they're, they, 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 uh, they were good at what they did. They were smooth. They, they, they move and everything like that. And I understand what Tuhan Tim, like what he's trying to prevail and everything, you mm. know, and, but it was kind of like, well, wait, wait, this is getting a little bit, you know, a little bit intense, you know? Uh. And, and, uh, so, um, with that said, there was the Grand Alliance. There was the first Grand Alliance that happened in 2011 of that same year. And it, and it was with Grant Tuhan, uh, Tuhan Leslie Buck, Tuhan Philip Kalinas, uh, Paul Lodger was there. I think Bobby, Tuhan Bobby Lodger was there. Uh, RV, um, who else? Uh, Tuhan Nick Papadakis, which he got promoted there at that day. And so okay. everybody from the Grand Alliance from that, right? They all came together under there. Like the New York group, all this group, everything. No one for PTKGO from Two on Tim's group did not show up. I was that guy. So I, told <laughs> Tim, I told I told Two on Tim, hey, I want to go, right? Because we're not Mavericks. We're we're, we're martial artists for crying out loud. You know, we're, right. we're I want us I want to show support and and that we're not like a bunch of because we're we're the authentic system. Like no 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 that doesn't doesn't that doesn't go that with me. No. You know? And that's at not that time work. I was in the Ranger Battalion, right? Yeah. So I'm motivated. So I go, and I'm all the I was the only PTKGO, and no shit. You're always group, right? Everyone's getting up, right? Everyone's like, hi, my name's so and so. I'm my teacher's this, my teacher's that, and I was the last guy. I go like, hi, my name is. <clears throat> Roberto and my teacher is two on Tim Wade. <laughs> oh shit, man. You like the exorcist? Like that. I mean, like you see all their necks, you can hear it crackling and popping, and it's just like knives coming out of their eyeballs. And I'm like, what the hell did I just get myself into? Uh, you know? But here's Grant Tuan guy. All right. Like he just had Yeah, yeah. Like you came that, by that, yourself that, that and you didn't care. That, guy, that yeah. guy's got yeah. balls. That man's got balls. Cojones. You know, yeah. so then after that, he, he invited me like every right, wherever I ate. He's like, Ross, you stay with me. Come have breakfast with me, have lunch with me, have dinner with me. You stay with me, stay with me. But when I teach the seniors, then you go. And then, so, and then after that, months, <laughs> a letter came of a release of, of to on Tim that you're like, hey, um, you're no longer X, Y, and Z. Oh, and I was like, oh, shit. And I was like, and then before all that happened, I told GT that I was going to bring it for a seminar to Seattle. And I gave the date. Mm. Okay. Then this happened. And I'm like, son of a bitch. And, you know, and then next, thing you know, I think I came up with, I did came up with the coin. Because then two on ten was making a rattle, like all attention, every, all, you know, PTK instructors. I call it TWA, Tim Wade's Army. <laughs> <laughs> back then you know so of all dates the recall he got all the instructors on that date of the day i had gt seminar mm. and i did not go and here's the reason why because uh every instructor has their accountability okay yeah. that's not my problem you know if you get to train with an instructor for 20 plus years and you say, oh, well, hey, man, you know, whatever. But he did say this. Uh, he did say, because I, I had a last seminar, a workshop in San Jose. And he was like, we train. And then I noticed something was real fishy, too, because all these, the, the, my peers, my, they were like, they didn't want to talk or whatever. I'm like, what the hell's going on? Mm. You know, so I went to Tim Wayne, like, what's what's happening over here? He was like, yeah, well, you know, they're not happy. I'm like, what are happy about what? Well, you know, you can bring GT down. I'm like, well, you're the two on. I go like that. I'm asking you. He's like, I have no problem with it. But then those guys, I'm like, what about them guys? They don't run. No, 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 no. You know, they're, they're everyone's adults here. You know, yeah. but everybody, here's the thing. The instructor, man or woman, okay, whatever it is, they can take care of themselves. But there's this thing where like, you're, 
you're like a Tim Wade student or where student. And, you know, like, that's not my friend. That's my teacher. OK, yeah. there's a difference. You cross the line. It's kind of like in the army. You have the, you have your NCO, your sergeant and you have your privates. Yeah. The NCO will be like, hey, you want to come over to a, a, bur uh, a barbecue? Yeah. And then you go over there, you shoot the shit, you know, you're all talking. But then when it comes to work, you're in uniform, you go in. Hey, hey, what's up, Johnson? Johnson. Yeah. You can't push a position. Like, wait, I thought we were buddies. No, I'm no, the sergeant. No. Yeah, see what I'm saying? So you have to separate the two. Yeah, yeah, separate the right. And, and, that, and that comes to leadership. I'm like, no. So I held my ground. I'm a ranger at the time. I'm like, Tim, Tim, Tuan Tim's fine. He's okay. He's nothing's gonna happen to him. Yeah. So I didn't go. I brought the old man, and man, I got ostracized. I got threat. I got I, oh man, I got hit all over. How can you do this to him? How can you do this to him? I like, do what to him? Do what? I didn't do nothing to this man. You know, I know it's not um, it's not indentured servitude. You know, what yeah, I mean? yeah, right. So I'm like, no, I'm doing the servitude to the art, to the system, mm. to the old man. That's between two grown adults that had to do that. That, that but everybody just wants to get involved for what? Uh, it's people. drama. This this community is driven a lot on drama. Yeah, but mm -hmm. it's just like, come on, let's continue. All right, if you messed up, you have a accountability, just say, hey, I messed up and everything. Yeah, but I wanted to bring the old man because I want to learn Piquet Tertia. And there was no crime. And guess what? Now you got people who want to learn from uh, from Grand Tuan. You got people be like, oh, this. And now they're all learning from the old man. You yeah. know, well, not now because of the COVID. It's hard because of COVID. No, COVID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went from that. Then I went to the Grand Alliance. Okay. And I stayed with the old man from Grand Tuan. Then there was another. There was another another one with uh, Tuhon Ramel. Okay, so then everybody like the pirate, like you know, like you know when you have the you're in rope and like you know you have the the, the like jump off and you go into yeah, the yeah, 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 everybody yeah. jump ship, and I stay with the old man because yeah. I have nothing to I have nothing to go after. I just yeah. stay with the old man, being who I am as like hey you know he's Paul that's Lolo you know. And I just showed my my dedication to the system, to the art, and keep learning. I didn't have to jump from one to – because, again, that's between them two. Right. And I'm not like, well, how can you do that to him or, or her? And I'm like, hey, that's that, that doesn't signify from my judgment between you two that makes – no, you're both equal in my, in my – who for you guys. But I'm not going to choose because it's just you so know, like this, you know, like that, or whatever, X, Y, and Z. So I still stay yeah. with the old man. So that was another big thing. And I stayed with the old man. Yeah. Right. And then after that, more years later, uh, then I went into PTTA. So, and how that happened was, I know, I know my story is long, but. No, 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 no. You know, you're sure, sure. Okay. So then on a one fateful year, 2019, this um, ball headed, Bearded Filipino with a rag, uh, rag do on his head named Paul Rubio. Who's that you know? guy? <laughs> you know, and I've been watching his stuff, yeah. you know, from Fred Mastro and everything. And I looked at like, who's this dude? I was like, okay. That's right for song with, with, yeah, with and I was like, okay. I, yeah. I, you know, I like it. He looks like a prick, but then I'm like, I get him. I see where he's coming at, you know, and I've been following his stuff since then. Mm -hmm. And then one day he goes on Facebook and says, Hey, I'm coming to LA. Anybody know some good tacos and good good dojos? So I saw that and I was like, oh shoot, yeah. Hey bro, I, I know all the good Yeah, tacos. right. Why wouldn't you why wouldn't you take the opportunity to meet them? Right. Right. So mm -hmm. I went in and I said, like, hey, I know all the good taco joints. None mind that Mexican restaurant bullshit. I know some good up in here. And then I know some good dojos, right? And then yeah. he goes, Okay, I'll come I'll, I'll text you or message you within weeks. Dude, next thing you had like five hundred comments. He's like, Hey, hey, where are you at? I got this. I mean, he has some rich, rich dudes who are willing to give him up, you know? So I finally message him. I say, yo, what's up? Are we going to do this or not? He was like, I'll message you. So we match like this, and then we shoot the shit. He was like, all right, dude, all right, I'll stay with you. I'll, 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 I'll come pick me up. I'm like, cool. So I picked him up, right? He told me he was going to film for the Machitas. And the Machitas are like 15 minutes here in Lomita. I'm mean, right here in Carson. Okay. So I'm like, cool. So he, I bring him, take him to the house, and he busted Filipino on me. So the next morning, so 
we I picked them up or brought them and then we were just like talking for hours and art for art poetry you, you name it right and then uh next morning he uh he goes hey we need to go to black house because we had to go meet jared i'm like jared yeah jared man i'm like jared wait well hungy yeah man he's in fucking yeah, that jared. i'm like <laughs> bullshit no wait wait a minute so at that time <laughs> and then with jared you know two on jay you know the split with gt and then all that oh uh, and here's all right and, and here's me <laughs> jared wants money you know, all this oh uh, you know whatever, whatever that means right so here i am like oh my god so Jeez. like you know so then next thing you know uh uh paul Rubens, like, hey man you can drop me off to a hotel bro it's cool i understand what the whole deal and i'm like nah screw that shit. let's go bro so this is this is 2019 so we went i went to black house and then and see two on jay he was like oh hey hey you know and then we started talking it up and i was like i heard about you uh rob i was like really i was like okay <laughs> i hope it's positive <laughs> yeah. you know right and then uh then next thing you know uh we went later on and then went to the machitas we did the filming Mm -hmm. with, with him doing it with the the, the the Machida brothers he took a break and I asked him like hey hey do on let's do some sub sub this 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 flow okay yeah is that okay sure and he just pop 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 and then next thing you know uh Rubio coming on film and he was like have you guys ever sparred ever, ever touched sticks before I was like no so like, Rubio he's be he's like what the hell okay and uh so then we and I really was insecure about myself too because I was like, I don't move. And Rubio saw all this stuff. And they're like, bro, mm. no, you're good, dude. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he showed me a video of it. I was like, oh my God, is that me? He's like, yeah, man. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I was like, you never, like that's not trick photography. He's like, no, bro, this is this is the real deal. And I said to him, post it. You sure? Yeah, let's go. Post it. Wow, yeah. Post it. Why not? It posted it. Oh shit! And here comes the Grand Alliance. <laughs> How could you? Ah, oh go. my oh, god! Yeah, you know, I'm hearing it from Grand Tuan, and you know he's like, "Oh, you want to Grand Alliance?" I'm like, "Oh god!" Yeah. But you, the Tuan Jay is a great dude, great guy, awesome guy. I was like, I was like, this guy's great. You know? Yeah, I can just, you know what it is? I gotta be honest with you. Like, I was, I was in the, I was doing PTK. I was going to go deep and. And it's pretty obvious why I didn't stay there and do it. It's just because I'm like, okay, there's these other systems. I don't see nowhere the drama. Um, and actually, I can actually learn, have fun, not have to pick sides and all that. It, it just was like, I looked at it. I'm like, why would I subject myself to this? And I was with during the heyday of like when the Sac Atienzas, the whole beef with the guy thing. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And that's why yeah. I left all of it. Matter of fact, I left FMA because of all of that. Because yeah. we were saying, okay, because Guy Hay was coming up to Connecticut to see Ron Kazakowski and Warner Bros. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So they go, okay, you, you can go, but uh, but make sure you don't wear your Aunt Tans or say out shirt and uh, make sure you don't. And I'm just thinking like, wait a minute, man, I'm a grown man. Like, don't yeah. do this. And I was like, you know what? That's it. I did my own thing, created my own stuff, mostly a knife, and then got back. But it, I'm telling you, it's just like, who the hell is anybody to dictate what you should do in your journey if you're not hurting anybody? That's correct. And you're right. And, 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 and also you're doing, uh, and, and most importantly for me, it's the integrity of the art of, of how you uh, cultivate, right? Mm. So for instance, right, if, if my integrity at PK churches, you see, I, I, I do light blade flow. I actually move. I actually go in. That's my integrity, the authenticity of my genuity of my of, of who I am as, as a person that the art lives in me, right? It, meaning is, huh? I practice every day. I move and everything. So it shows in my language and my body, you know? It's kind of like, uh, you know, Babayan, you, know, you write it or you write Chinese kanji. It's like the way it's right is the way I move. Like, you know, just that, yeah. you know, language, you know. So after that PTTA, uh, I, I, I joined them. And then uh, 
2019, I went into PTK Katupunan. It's early. And that's the Philippines, if I'm not mistaken. That's, that's in the Philippines. That's in the Philippines. Okay, okay, uh, yeah. And then I went from there. And then next thing you know, uh, COVID. Yeah. And then one day, the global carenza. The global COVID, in my it changed everything. It, 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 it changed the dynamics, yeah, the ripple, yeah. and the martial arts, everything. Yeah, yeah. And it's a um, wonderful project. By, by Tuan Jaco Tor mm. and then Paul Rubio. And then from that moment, I, I honestly believe that is what brought the this home, this connection all together. You know, I definitely see that. I think, yeah, like, which is going to be my next question to you. When you, I mean, you, um, you liked it to be under three different sanctions within an umbrella of PTK. Um, so I got kind of a two part thing here. You know, uh, first off, you know, you know, explain this to us and, you know, to me in the audience, why and what and where are the benefits you being under three different sanctions as far as maybe methods, interpretations? Uh, what could you tell us about that? To be honest with you, the reason why I, I went into these three organizations, coexistence, unity, cohesion, family. I, 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 I've seen a lot of the, of, of back then how the PTK was. And now because with the COVID, the world's hurt a lot. Of the world's hurt, you know? So we in the market, martial arts community have to be together and live in one community, right? Two so. separate worlds. Yeah. There's the martial arts world, and then there's the outside of that world. And we can't afford that to have that. We have to survive within our own martial arts world. And by that meaning, it's like, you know, I, I joined these organizations because I want, I just want to be like one big, huge, happy family. Mm. And I I learn a lot from PTTA. I learn from PTI. I learn from uh, from PTK to Punan. And there's so much more I call it. And also within the PTK World Federation, you know, and and that's the thing. I just want to come and and and, and, and learn, you know. And, and there are a lot of, of ambiance and within from each different of the organizations. Well, I'm sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Depending when they got it from Guy Hay or uh, what they specialized in and what have you. But yeah, I just want to piggyback. I mean, back up a bit. Um, you know, as far as the whole family thing, you know, like. I don't say a lot on it, but I mean, I, you know, I, I know what's going on. I, I watch behind the scenes, what's going on with the organizations and all that. Right. You know what I mean? It doesn't take a rocket scientist to, you know no. what I mean? And uh, it's pretty evident and clear which of the PTK sanctions really have harmony and perpetuate that harmony. And I have to say, too, on Jared, uh, I think he, whatever he's doing, it's, I think he's doing a fabulous job for what he's doing out there and with the, you know, with your guys group and all that. I think Juan McGrath runs a very great organization. I don't see the drama of either. I can't speak. I'm sure it's great. I just, I don't know the Philippine organization as well. Oh, they're great. The no, it's the same thing as well. And okay, here's, sure, here's yeah. what it comes down to. It's leadership. Okay. It's leadership. It's called zero tolerance of, uh, of the policy, right? Mm. If Tuan Jay, Tuan Mick, and, and Tuan Bill, right? Right? And he's got his, his men under him, right? And if there is one absolute of any drama or something like that, they squash it. They, they, they like that's, that's what not, it is. It's like it's not going to be in this organization. I totally agree. It's like you got to yeah. lead by example. Like, so if a leader example, you know? is doing it, there's right. no fault. It's like an FMA discussion. Like when I came up with the MMA discussion, I made a very conscious effort. I don't want to be like the other groups. That's easy. Okay, yeah. go ahead, talk to each other the way you want. Use profanity, call each other names. You know, do whatever you want. It's fine. Everything, everything's, everything's good here. You know, it's right. all good. You know what I mean? But I want it to be different. You know what I mean? So, yeah. and then in the beginning, there was it was hairy. We had to kick some people out. But when people see like zero tolerance and they see the way you run it and the, and you're consistent you got to be consistent right correct people people catch on they you know so i think those much to your point i think those three obviously you're they're good leadership you know yeah and, and it really and it comes down to like you know you know when you get this is the this is a huge thing when you become a straight group leader okay or or you become a lacan guru right you're gonna get women and men and children under you 
they have white belt mentality. It's like a private. A private comes into the army, mm. right? And you're the NCO, the sergeant. They're going to look at the, the superior leader as guidance. Yeah. As the leader. So if if my leader likes to drink a beer, oh, well, I guess I'll drink a beer too. It's monkey see, monkey do. Yeah. You know? So you're going to, you got to understand that when you, when you have that, you know, like for one, don't talk about drama with mm. students. Like, oh, you know, it like, you, you know what I'm saying? You know, and then you have to cut the, you have to cut that line between need to know basis. Yeah. You know, and the white belt, and then also, they don't need to know. <laughs> they don't need to know. It's about their pay grade. You need to train. Why, what's that? What, how's that helping you when you're training? Right. Exactly. Right. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 Grandmaster Tony Diego. Yeah, you hear what happened, man? Yeah, he did this, 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 that. You know, like, like, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that to, to, yeah. to the yeah. to low level, uh, you know, like, you know, to the. Right. Like, and sway them when they're already immature. That. You know, they're much. Yeah, they're, 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 they're you know? a nice sponge. You know, and no. so they're worried. Oh, so what? You're right. So we're with you. I'm like, no, you know. So you, it's a, it's a huge responsibility as being an instructor that you're getting students that are going to follow you, your I actions, yeah. I and totally your agree. needs. Yeah. yeah, but two on Jay, two on Bill, and two on Mick can't supervise, right? Everybody down there. So he's got like, okay, who, who is a man, like who the integrity, yeah. or the woman who has the integrity to say, hey. I'm gonna promote you, but act according to your rank. Yeah. You know, so yeah. No, they're doing actually. I mean, you know, they're the two that I know that can speak up fairly. I think what they're doing is, I, I definitely want to get the sanction that you referenced in the Philippines. I would love to get to on Mickey on here. He sounds like he's somebody. That's oh, that man, that man's a man. Let me tell you, two on Mickey yeah. Alcaraz. Yeah, yeah, no, it sounds like somebody that's that we we need to get on for sure. Um, humble human being, man. Like, like he's my teacher, yeah. and I emulate him with my blade. And and uh, yeah, Tuan Mekakaras of uh, PTK uh, Katupunan and his uh, and Bob Tuan Bob Rodriguez and Tuan J. Bob. Like, humble, yeah. nice. So like you know, and it, and it, and then by the way, like um, he's been training all the the Filipino action special action force recon since the mm. day. Uh, got in, in, you know, the beginning. I'm, I'm like maybe like '90s or something like that. Oh, wow, a long time. Yeah, and he's been and he's been since then. And then they they love him. The the, the military the department, the Philippine military defense, love him. They trust him. The mm. Philippine special Ash force love. I mean, wherever Tuan Mick says, they are all with him. And then, oh, and I gotta get him on. That's for sure. All right, matter of yeah. fact. And then also, he's a he's a choreograph. He did the by bust. I don't know if you've seen by bust. Okay. Yeah, he did all the good. He's, he's the one to train all the actors and actresses. And oh see wow, all right, even more read. Okay. Yeah. Got him right down. Two on there. We need to get him on. Wonderful community, man. Uh, got the fun, PTK got the yeah, if you talk to him, you know, um, you know, throw it by him, sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know? Um, so then all right, so we got we kind of got what you're doing, all that. Just you know, you know. You know as quickly as you can or, or, or i guess or in summation like what do you um you know as far as it, you're under three different are there is there anything significantly that you're getting from each one or or it could be big subtle or oh yeah methods? oh yeah oh, oh most of so ptta with two on jared i'm seeing the uh, pikini but the tactical right yeah. oh which yeah is, okay which 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 it's really really like we they teach bikini but it's really he has a tactical side, and right now this day of era, right? I I, I love his, the the tricom, which I do have to subscribe to on Jay. I will, you know, and uh, I love the fact that how it it encompasses the the tactic and then the art, the the tradition of the, of the TDA, right? To fit into in its mo here with if you can see what's going on right now, mm. with how police tactic has changed, everything has changed in regards to apprehending, yeah, uh, the shooting, what have you. Right. Mm. And then if you look at 200 J sub, it's very subtle, right? But very effective, right? I, mm. I, I love it. You know, uh, two on bill PTI, the system. Okay. So like I'm, I'm learning from, it's like learning from, <laughs> from A to Z, you mm. know? So, Everything that it's kind of like, I need to go back to my uh, encyclopedia. I go like to PTI. It's kind of like that. It's like it's like that book, right? And then PTK Katupanan, 
the culture and the language, it is different. Like the, the Bikini Tertia, it's really uh, amazing to see, you know, uh, of, of their, of what of they learned Bikini Tertia because mm. Bikini Tertia of the cult in the Philippines is different because of its language and the culture and how it's spread. It's, spread. it's it, I hate to say this, but it's like, it's like you take an American, try to express Kung Fu. You can see the difference between an American and then Chinese wushu and an American wushu. Yeah. Right? You, 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 different. Like, whoa, what is that? Right. We, we, you know? So that's why people, like, they'll go to China or they go to Japan to, to learn. Right. To get exposed to that. Yeah. No, no, yeah, no. Get exposed to it. And there's information in there as well within the mm -hmm. language and the culture and history. Yeah. That's, wow. You know, you just... You know, that's amazing the way you put that. Like I look at from, you know, the three vantage points where you just gave. So on one, you're getting a tactical aspect of it. Mm -hmm. Two, which everybody well knows that Tuan Bill has the most complete P PTK in the world. Everyone's guilty. Everyone's got his DVDs. I don't care. Yeah. PTK no, I, I hear that his mom told us way back in the day, told me, goes, like, <laughs> if, you want, if you want the true PTK, go to yeah, I go to one bill. So, and you got, so you got the encyclopedia in the middle and then you're getting the cultural and the language from over there. So, I mean, that's, that's a really neat blend. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, like it's, 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 it's an amazing blend. And, and, and they have it too. It, the, the PTK got the put has got the system. Oh, I'm sure. They yeah. got it. But it's, it's, it's very unique in this mm. way. But I, I, but when I got to two on bill and I finally met him in Vegas for the seminar, mm. oh man. I geeked out, and then my 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 uh, what I saw, I'm like, there it is, there yeah, it is. Wow. Well, it looks like you made good decisions as far as your choice and your journey, and as far as your the systems and instructors. I mean, yeah. you know, as far as I'm still looking forward to train with like more of the systems, like you know, with iCali, and and I hope they they they, they come out because I, I mean, I'm I, I I'm still continuing. You know, yeah, you got and, 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 and hopefully. Long. You know, uh, PTK SNF will come. To, the, 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 here's the thing, uh, Grudin, is that um, you know every FMA organizations that we know through the Maranis, uh, Maranis, right, and then the Balenta Walks, right, mm. and the Escrima, you know, right, and on each of them has these huge organization under each, right, each of one. Yes. And we have to break it down. I love to see, which I think it's already happening. It's it's, it's coming together. Is seeing, uh, and I, I want this for all FMA as well. Like you know, for is it doesn't have to be a president here and then all one organization. You know what I'm how saying? ironic that you bring that up because it's like no one entity within the system should be governing anybody else. Correct. That's and correct. that drives me. So, in. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you can get like say okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go PTK. You get PTK SMF, PTK World Federation. PTI, iCali, and PT Katapunan. And they come together in one, like say in the Philippines, whatever, and each mm -hmm. of them are showing at all that and they're enjoying it. And here's the thing, it has nothing to do, because back in the 80s, like, oh, if I let my student go there, then they're going to see a better style, uh, right? Yeah, and which is like, they're going to lose them. No, it's not. Insecurities on that love more, the students, The students are going to love more anything is the leadership of their teacher. So when they see like a teacher, exposing them to that, right? So when they see a teacher, right, mm -hmm. and they're like being all super flexible, they're like, "Well, I love my teacher. I'm gonna stay with him, even though they, you could show three six years for all I care." That student is not going to leave because mm -hmm. of the leadership of the instructor and that community. So they love it that they all share, and they all share one thing: the love of Bikini mm -hmm. Tertia or the love of Kali Sri Simone, right? Mm -hmm. And that is the the whole thing is to bring that together like that. I think it's not more organization. Just think about like the benefit to the students, though. I mean, look at from the point of view of the student, right. like that if they if this were to occur, you know, I mean, across globally, right. you know, regardless right. of the the system, you know, used as an example. But think about like the student, like the benefit, like they would reap from that being exposed to all the different. Sit right and all that you know what i mean but because of that of their insecurities ego past drama it's like we can't get there because we have to remove all the other crap 
right. let go of it to get right. there. And I think some can do I, it. I really do um, think we're we're hitting in PTK. We're, we're we're it's really it's getting it's getting close. You know. I think for and, several reasons. The old guard, once the old guards removed, I think the yeah. new were you know so. On. Oh yeah, it, it, it's it's that time already. It, it's coming already. You know. I think and, so. And it's, I, I agree. I mean. I yeah. Agree. Yeah. I mean, when, and there's nothing to gain from. I mean, I don't know what the, what they want to gain from. I'm like, I'm like, you know, I don't even make a million dollars in my pocket, man. To be, you know, like trying to go for. Uh, That's the thing. Like, or I mean, look how many re like people that really made it in the FMA world. Like, I mean, so and like you can't even say. Guru Dan, because he's teaching 60 other things in the academy. You know what I mean? So, like, who's really, you know, what's, you know, what's, you know, what's really absurd of this? You got like Tuan Bill or yeah. all these great masters that passed away from the 80s, like Grandmaster Lemma, uh, from, from Lescas, Kabbalah, all them. They didn't make a, like, like, they, well, Tuan Bill, half they, they didn't make a dime. They didn't I make know, a dime. Man. And you got these, you got these, and they've been doing it for like, since like i don't know when i know but then you, you'll get like the modern now of the instructors that have been practicing less than 10 years and they're already like i want the throne it's, <laughs> it's a tragedy like, like i know it's like fact. it's a what's tragedy what's going on man like come on now you got to be training why are you all worried about like who's in, who's in charge who's going to get this right because of the fame and fortune come on, man. if you could put 30 you if, you know, could, it, if you could if you could put it in terrible. the time and grade uh like tuhan bill or like like you see Tuhan Mick or like any of these guys who've been doing it for twenty plus or more, you know. Okay, you can do the talking now. You really can do the talk. But then, if you think if you haven't been yeah, practicing no. guitar for less than like, not even ten, and you want to try to go into this and you want to talk about like like oh who's going to be in charge? Who's going to be the vice president? And everything like oh come on man, yeah. like you know. I know just it's like, like to be like have that like to drive you. You know, like, the, okay, what drives you? Well, me getting to the throne. You know what I mean? Like, not being the best version of yourself, but like that. Right. You know, yes. I don't know. Like, to me, it's bizarre. Like, I, I can't, like, what to me, that's not a my goal to be worthy. You know? Yeah. What drives know. me is my but some people. When I do my blade. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah some man. folks, though, they're just, they're just driven by those things. You know what I mean? Though, I don't know. I, yeah, but. Um, I think it's changing. Really do believe we're we're getting there, Guru Dean. It's 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 coming. Yeah, so. it, you know I what? It, it 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 really comes down to uh, positivity and 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 just good up uh, of leadership. That's where it comes down to. Yeah, like, that's where it really that's does. Kind of leadership you know? because then it'll trickle down. Yeah. No one doesn't owe you. No one doesn't owe you a darn thing but yourself. You know, and 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 and, uh, and that's the thing. They feel like. I did 10, 15 years. How come you never gave me this? Why should they? You I know. Put it's like that. Expect, I know. It future. is a bratty mentality sometimes in the Western, like like the like that you're owed or something. And, and piggyback off what you said, like like I tell my students, like, look, you're the most important piece of this journey. It's not the system or me. I go, you guys, I go, this is your journey. I go, you owe it to yourselves to explore, question, yeah. validate everything i go um you know and i think that's getting lost a lot of times like these systems and teachers override like the student or the student becomes and that's the reason normal. why it's a dying art because then mm -hmm. what happens is you get these great instructors out there women and men and they're going out there and then they face prejudice and then again like that's stupid that's ugly and next thing you know they become yodas they go mm -hmm. uh far and they go in solitude so you got these wonderful, amazing Philippine instructors out there. I guarantee you, they're out there, right? But they don't want to come out because they dealt with that hatred and and, and sarcasm and prejudice. Yeah. So the only way the FMA can be an up and bringing is to lift everybody and and to and good positivity and good healthy and everything. But you do have your bullshitters out there, you know. Mm. So you know who they are. You're like, uh. You know, you yeah, know, yeah, you don't, you don't call them. But you can approach it in a more delicate manner, you know, right? You don't have to be like, oh, that sucks. You don't know what you're doing. You're fake. No, you're no, no. No. you know, wow. there's a way to do it. Good stuff. So oh, let's get on. To, okay, this is uh, absolutely fantastic. I had a feeling this is going to be a, a very good uh, conversation and interview. Um, your lines on sparring. Um, a just that being the first part of the question. 
And why, and you seem to advocate or practice in different variations thereof, which I'm gonna be showing a vid, but be, before I show the vid, um, your lens on sparring and why you advocate different variations of, of the, you know, of the practice. Variations of the practice. Ah, uh, I, I think I've, I've, I said, I, I told uh, Rubio and, and amongst others, I haven't sparred since the 1990s uh, during the week off here in Carson. That was like 1992 or three. And then from that moment, I never got into any dog brothers. I never got to any dog brothers uh, fighting. Mm. Uh, I never got into uh, any stick fighting uh, other than that. And the the putting when I went to the state of Utah for the PTTA conference in August, that was my first in that you know mask and glove, and that's it. Let's go. I would have never, I would have never guessed that was your that was your first. Yeah, and, and all I did was just shadow fighting. I just, I, I, I it, a lot of people in the old man. Uh, when I trained with him back in 08 and I had him for I had him for my house and my home uh, back in Fort Lewis, Washington State, mm -hmm. he he literally trained the heck out of me. It was scary. I mean, yeah. but he because because I was military, so he he's like he just like you know hammered me more and he made mm. me think and knocked the I, I said this one thing he knocked the Western culture out of me. Like every time I think he hits me. <laughs> he knocked so, it right you know, out of me. Like you know, I'm not doing that. You know, like you know, but he had an engineering process of how to really make you what you're you know so mm. from that moment from his training i just been like I, I i have footwork tape you know and i just move and i'm like okay if he does this i come in here and i just fight myself like shadowing okay. and if you hear the stories like you know back in days like they would practice in the night with the moon right because that was the light they don't do anything they, they try to be careful because they don't want to show the secret to you know the secret yeah. the doors and all that right as legend tells okay so I just did that and I went in there and then I went to the state of Utah and uh, a, great, a great man, uh, 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 Lamont. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm forgetting his, his embarrassing. His uh, uh, a guru, guru, Matasma Guru Lamont. I hope I'm yeah. saying this right, sir. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, Lamont. Yeah. I think you're more than that. I think you're above like a mandala more than that. I don't know. I just, I just <laughs> but I, he, he, I went there and I went there with open heart, open heart in the state of Utah. I didn't go in there saying I'm a man, nothing like that. I was just some dude, uh, mm. like I was grew up in a very strict etiquette home, you know, and Latina culture. Like you don't go in the house before the, the guests go, before the, the, the honorate goes, you know, so I go behind them, you know, so I don't sit on the couch unless they tell me to sit on the couch, right? Mm. It's one of those things you ask for something and everything. So I carry all that. So when I went to there, I was not a mandala at all. I was nothing. I was just me. Well, they probably saw that. I mean, they probably saw and, your mannerisms and they probably resonated with them and say, look, this guy's, yeah. this guy's kind of low key. He's not trying to be. Yeah, yeah. Not, you know? And then another thing too is like, this is the thing that you see a lot. Like I when you see them, like each instructor is they're given a class. I go, Hey, this, this is how you do it. This is how you do it. No, I didn't do any of that stuff. Right. Cause these yeah. are their, these are their, so right, you're on their territory. You want to just right, be your guest. Right, you want exactly. to be, yeah. Right. So I'm just being cool, training, everything. Like that. And someone will be like, hey, do you know, can you, oh, sure. You know, and I will ask the instructor, like, hey, is it okay? Yeah, yeah. You know, and everything like that, you know. So then I show them a little bit and everything, like, this was happening. And they're like, oh, wow. And then at the end of the day, I, I was waiting. I, I'm not going to go out there and say, hey, man, you want to fight me? No, that's, 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 that's crap. You know, you were, you know, like, yeah, you, know? you go there and you're like, start. yeah, like, I'm going to pick them off. Right. And everything. So then, uh, uh, Lamont's like, Hey, do you mind if you spar one of my students? Like, yeah, sure. No problem. Mm. Mass, pop, pop, pop. Had like three, four matches. And then finally, uh, uh, then I, we got me and Mandala Jason Jones. Great dude. Awesome man. Uh, we did Gnuting, Polymer Gnutings created by, uh, I can't pronounce the name right. Actually, Actually, which is what I'm going to show now that you brought it up. So let's let's uh, let's watch this for the folks, and then you can kind of um, after we're done, you can walk this story. I'm gonna hide myself. I'll make the screen bigger. Sure.
this life, all I see is myself. Wow, I'm going to um, a couple things. I mean, oh, there you are. Yeah. So um, before I have you walk us through that, um, you know, I, I want, uh, and I'm glad I was, a I'm glad you shared that, and I was able to pull it up here because I, I thought it would be neat for the audience for you to talk about like the variation of what you guys were trying to achieve, as far as the range you were keeping. Uh huh. And obviously, there was that was a very uh, plan orchestrated range that you guys were trying to maintain and keep. I mean, it's, it's clearly evident in the video that you're watching and, and all that. So, well, any me saying anything further, uh, take us through it. Well, actually, we're we're actually trying to hit each other. No, but like you were saying, I know, I know, no, you're definitely trying to hit, but you're saying wrong. I know it's the same great demonstration. I, it wasn't demonstrate. We were actually sparring. Yeah, I know you guys are sparring. But yeah, you we're not going to keep it because it's sword but, longer. But it's no, it's a ganunting. So it's a, it's from Ilongo, it's a blade. It's about the it, it's a, at the curve yeah, and it's first, so the the sharpness is in the inside and it's blunt on the outside. So compared to machete, the 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 curve is the sharpness in the outside. So it's really good. It's it's known for by by the main reconnaissance in the Philippines that use it. It's one of the most the adopted. Uh, primary weapon uh, for a blade and the uh, uh, Philippine military. So that is, it, it's so very m manipulative that you can, how you use the Ganunting. And if you ever seen a Grand Tuan guy wield it, oh my God, it's like he's shooting fire, mm -hmm. you know? But when you manipulate the blade, everything is a cut precise. So that's the reason why it's not like when you take, you, you, you understand how the flat and it goes to the sharpness into the thrust come back out you know and you come back in with the sharpness and you mm -hmm. have to make this precise because of people what happens is they'll get a uh, like say the plastic that we're using this this hard polymer that's used by uh Bupis training blade by uh guru i cannot pronounce his name but if you're there yeah, sir, but yeah he's this. coming on this month too actually yeah he's an amazing amazing craftsman yeah, yeah. And awesome sparring and i think crushed bones so you don't get complacent and just go blah, 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 blah. And you're just like, you're just wielding like a blunt stick. So there's no cuts or nothing. You're not cutting. You're not, it's like, it's all spiraling when you're doing this mm. and all like that. And what I mean by complacent is because just because it's a, a plastic object, don't get comfortable with it or you can die. Right? And, yeah, and, don't underestimate. And, no, no, I, I guess don't lose in tra translation just because you're using a, you know, a hard Right. And it's like if you use, uh, so it's, it's the same thing like in weapons, if you're using sidearms and everything like that, don't get, get complacent, mm. you know, because believe it or not, complacent can get into a training accident or it can lead into a serious injury or death. Mm. Okay. So we have the Ganun team. We are looking at it as a light blade. And the mm. whole object is to cut that person before he cuts me. Right. So I know if I had a real light blade and I cut his hand, that's it. It's game over. Right. So we're, we're looking at a, a huge format, pl a plethora of what's happening in there, which is ranging, time and speed, accuracy, power. You're yeah. looking at the triangle footwork. You look at coordination. You're looking at calculation, strategic, and tactics. You're putting this all together from the Piquet Tertia system and making it happen. And that's what's what's going on in there. And then counterability, non counterability, counter offense, right? You can see all what's happening in, in there. Yeah, no, I thought it was. Uh, you know, I, I watched it a few times and I, I thought it was, a, you know, incredible what you guys were trying to achieve there and the stuff that came out of that, you know. Um, yeah. Now I was glad it, yeah, because I was worried when you sent me to Google, I'm like, God, I hope I can get this yeah. where it'll pop on. Because one of the easiest thing to do as far as be live media is I get the YouTube link and good to go. I mean, no, 
and all that, but it, it worked out. So I, I was, I was so glad that. I well, I'm able. glad you, I'm, 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 I'm really glad that you, uh, you got it. And yeah, 100%, 100%, you know, but that was, um, yeah, no, it was, that was incredible to watch. And I think uh, it sounds like everybody that has seen that has the same sentiment, you know? Um, yeah. It, it's, 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 because if we want, we can go ballistic. We can go right, disrespect and, 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 and just so we can go, yeah. we can go ape shit. Yeah. Okay, Mandala Jones, man, he's a dog brother. He's no joke. You know, mm. uh, Dolan. I I seen this man first time. I finally get to meet him. I mean, like if he grab he he grabs you, man, you're done. Like he like like I was like, God dang, you know. But we know because in the Blake culture, right. We're going, this is the part where it gets down to like, okay, put the system together now. Now let's see what we can do, right? This is, goes back to what we said in the beginning, mandala and mastery. And and, jo and Ms. Jones is a mandala as well. Oh, he's a, as well. Okay. Yes. So we know what we're, what we're, we're trying to achieve is a higher skill, right? But at the same time, a respectable mutual of us, each other. Mm -hmm. you know so that's when you know that that's that's how you could tell the maturity of instructed by your your you know but no no you could again you could see it like you guys were very i mean obviously attentive you guys were definitely going with blade rules quote unquote i mean you could no i mean you could definitely see it i mean you guys weren't looking to trade clash or you come under a roof block to you know clinch or whatever. i mean you could yeah, there was a concerted effort. I, I thought it was really nice to watch. And what's interesting in there, like I did a lot of panasas, 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 slash, slash. Yeah. There's also the Sagitas in there as well from the Piquiti in the, in the system. There's also um, the Florete uh, in its application. There's also taking the high line cut, which I did a reverse left uh, uh, 45 where he stepped in the bisecting line. So I bisected his line. It, which it cut across the other face. I saw that. That's where, we had, where you came across a lateral. I saw right, that. Right, yeah. right. And then the other one is where I came down. I did a 12 to 6. So I did 12 to 6 because he, his hand was back here. So you have to look at the ranging, the timing, the accuracy, and when you – and also and when wherever, to do it. No, no, no. It, and wherever the opponent steps and whatever the person loads with the weapon – then you have to, right? What weapon do I load to counter that weapon load? And what footwork do I use to counter his footwork with that weapon load mm -hmm. to counter that? So that's all going into play. Yeah, no, no. It was, again, yeah. Um, wow, well done. Well done. Um, the Carenza Project. So what made you want to be part of it? And second part of the question, what did it do for you personally? Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, no pressure. <laughs> it was the first one, and um, actually, uh, Tuhan Jack Latour, who came up with the idea, and then of course with the help of uh, Paul Rubio, Funker Tactical Aperture Five Focus, and all this wonderful thing he's doing. You know, uh, I remember uh, Tuhan Jack was like, "Okay, who is this guy?" You know, Rob. You know, and then uh, we talked to Paul Rubio, and Rubio's like, "Oh, he's a great guy." Great guy. And that's how we met Tuhan Jack through Global Carenza Project. So just because through that, just that small infinity, that this one infinity of the stone. <laughs> okay. You know, and then from that moment, we we it created this amazing friendship that me with Tuhan Jack, uh, Latour PTI. And then amongst many other friendships with other Filipino mm. Martial artists from different systems and everything from Kalisa Strisimo to Balintawa to Dosipares through Serrata, then even with, with their own style. And it was amazing because we knew at that moment, people at the time of the, 2020, of the uh, 2020, the pandemic, schools were closed. Everything was closed. But what do we have to lose now? What, 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 so the only way yeah, we could survive great art, timing. Yeah. Well, the only way we could survive this art now, we saw that it was something more bigger than just having a school. You know, it was about coming together and like let's go through this together. And then we did that and it created the most beautiful bonds of friendship to the Filipino martial arts community. Yeah. What more can you, you, you can, you can, no, I, I, I totally agree. I, I think, um, it really, really, uh, you know, kind of, uh, 
there was a void, you know what I mean? And I think it filled it nicely and brought and the buy and the side dishes of the you know the filling of that void was the camaraderie, people doing something maybe they would normally do, crossing over lines, training, yeah, what have you. No, uh, again, I, I thought this, I you know, and it looks like he's still perpetuating it and having people Absolutely. come on. You know. And here's the, here's here, here's the, here's the part about this, right? When when the 2020 COVID hit, right? And uh, you know, I, I'm ready for it. Like, I feel like, okay, you know, I mean, being in the military, like, I've seen worse. It doesn't affect me or mm -hmm. anything like that. It doesn't affect my way of living. I continue the way I live as I always lived, even through this COVID. But what 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 did this global commemorative project? It brought it brought hope, you know, uh, to within. And meaning is that there is something out there, right? That's way worse than a political agenda. That's killing. It's it's. You keep people sick and, and, and getting killed, right? Mm -hmm. So you're like, oh, shit. You know, like, what do we do? So then Global Coronza comes in and, like, let's survive. Let's, let's bond together and realize there's more worth than to just say who's the main instructor, who's the best school owner, and realize that the human being, the embodiment, is more important than anything to the bondship yeah. uh, in martial arts by doing this. No, I agree. Plus, you know, the some people... wake up call. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that too. And I think some people obviously went through some mental challenge, you know, depression during oh, this time and mental challenges. I mean, who did not at some shape, level or form, you, you know? Yeah. I mean, just... And everyone was getting the what? The, uh, what do you call that? The um, homesickness? What do you cabin, call that? Or cabin fever? Or... Cabin fever. Yeah, you're, you're stuck. You know, you know can't. Play. Yeah, yeah. It was tough on some people. <laughs> you know what I mean? I did like what you did. I wasn't reckless. It's not that I didn't care about other people, but I didn't let me affect what I want to do. <laughs> but I wasn't reckless. Like I, I wasn't, you right, know, right, I, right, right. I was coughing. I actually didn't go ask people to go train or, but I did continue to train and, uh, but I just did it carefully with like-minded people who were also comfortable and wanted to do it. And, you know, and, but yeah. But I also see the point. Some people that were very restrictive, very careful, did you know, and that's fine. And, and there's nothing yeah. wrong with that. That's nothing wrong. I mean, everybody, you know, because we have to respect that, you know, like uh, in 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 their oh, life. Absolutely. You know, right. and, and it's like, you know, I don't let that. Like, oh, well, that's retarded. No, I mean, no, no. I was like, hey, I get it. I understand. You know, I understand. Yeah. We're good, yeah. You know, and everything like that. You know, it's no problem. You know, yeah, didn't hold against but, them. But, but for me, you know. it's like, okay, you're you're, I know. I, you're gonna get sick. You're gonna get sick. I know we get a little bit tangible over here, okay? But you're gonna get sick, and you're gonna recover, and you're gonna get no. sick, and you're gonna recover. You know, as much as medicine keeps advancing, we're gonna recover, recover, and then. Yeah, I just each, you know. But again, like much to your point, I didn't hold, you know, I didn't look at them differently or hold, you know, or think of them differently. I was respectful, and you know, and got it, yeah. and waited till they were at a better comfort level, you know. Yeah. 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 I mean, well, yeah. I mean, that's. Um, so, uh, why would you recommend the Crenshaw Project to others? Oh, there's so uh, family. Uh, that's it. I mean, like you, you go out there and like, and then we've never seen some of these styles or systems. Like, what is this? And then I'm like, I find out like, ooh, and I, I like know. type in and like. And I like, and then like, who's this guy? Who's this woman? You know, and I'm like, whoa. And I used to the same for me too. I right. didn't never heard of that. So I said, okay, no more internet. I'm like, oh, okay. And then, yeah. <laughs> then now I go to Facebook and I'm like, okay, boop, friend requests you. Hey, what's up? And everything like that. And yeah. I want to get to know about th their system, you know, and, it, and it's a beautiful thing. I'm like, what is that? You know, mm. and we see some live lay flow, single stick flow, double stick flow. We see their own expression and everything. And I'm like, wow, I'm just amazed. Like, uh, you know, and, uh, and, and, and that there's some people there that just like, like keeps the fortitude going. Mm. And uh, I'll give you a, a one I, 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 I like, I like to see is Guru Kate, Katie, Guru Katie from my yeah. colleague. Yeah. 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 You know, like that girl, man. Like she, she stick through it and through it and through it. And yeah, we just had her on. Yeah, you know, just, and then when I saw her global Carenza, mm. I was like, oh damn, her, her single stick is better than mine. You know, it's just like yeah. flowing, like, you know, yeah, and yeah. No, connection uh, and everything like that. And I was so awesome to see that, you know, 
So, and, and, and amongst many others, I have so many names, you know, but um, it, it was just, uh, it was awesome to see the progression of, of others. Oh, oh, and there's this Russian, I'm sorry, my friend, but there's a Russian uh, uh, from the Ukraine. Uh, gosh, I should know, I know your name, but he's amazing with his double blades. Like Who's he that? does, oh, um, right? Two on Jack, maybe you can help me. Uh, uh, Russian, uh, yeah, he he he's amazing. I met him there. I met him on there, and too much. Hey, look at this man! And I like like wow. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, no, I'm curious. Huh. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, sir. If I, if I, 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 you know, but I saw this this man from Ukraine, and he's a modernist guy, but his flow and what he does is like like wow. This, does modern, modern, stuff, oh, man, I can't do with light blade. Or the blade like you know but it's everything makes sense when he does it it's really it's really phenomenal so that's why yeah, I'll, I'll you discover definitely... these talents and and these yodas i call them yodas again yodas you know, <laughs> you know, you know yeah. out there that are like hey come on out come on out you know yeah. and then you come on global carenza now you find I think it's just healthy i think it's healthy oh, to healthy. break that barrier like um yeah. for me it was um it was a big barrier. Like, oh my God, oh, I'm gonna put on film. People are gonna watch. They're gonna see me. Like, there was a huge, there was a huge wall for me. There was. I can't. I can't mm -hmm. imagine. You know, and that's the thing is with like, you know, I have to. And I, I'm with you, Gordine. Like, you know, before I met Paul Rubio, I was all about like faithful. This right. We grew up in this hierarchy in this yeah. this martial, uh, you know, right? Like, do the right thing, right? Respect and everything. And then when I met Paul Rubio, Paul Rubio was like, go Peter Pan on this thing, dude. You know, go spread your wings. And I yeah. was like, what the hell does that mean? Like, you know, and then the more and more I got, I was like, oh, okay. But it felt so, it's out of the boundaries, very uncomfortable. But reality mm. is, we are not bound by no system. This is what Bruce yeah. said in all his books. You know, you're not bound. <laughs> no, I, I need to go spend a week with him. And God, I'll come back completely transformed. And FMA discussion will be all different. <laughs> I don't know if that'll be a good thing. You know, I, I get it too. Like, you know, we as instructors, you know, we we yeah. got to be careful because we have our title mans, we have what we have, we have our people to right? answer to that, right? I get it. I I, I understand. Yeah, that, yeah. You know, we work so hard, and no matter how much we get into it, I don't know what's wrong with us, but we continue doing it. And 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 FMA, yeah. You know, I, I don't get it. It's like what Ruby was saying. Like, it's hard. It's quit FMA. You know, and I quit for a month and I come right back into it. It's just like, I don't yeah. know what it is. I no, I, I, I just think it's I, I, some shape or form. I think it's just genetic in, in just in us genes, whatever. You know what I mean? Culture. I, 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 it, it goes down to this. And I hope for the, for the, uh, the, uh, the Philippines hears this. Is that because we love the art? We love the culture. We love the freaking thing. It's an amazing, wonderful culture that you have, you know. And it's so like, for instance, we talked about this and like you know, Russia House, like it's yeah. huge in England, huge in England. In fact, I think they're, they're, it's going on right now. Uh, they just they're doing their live. They just have a live. There's something in the Philippines right now or somewhere. Oh, you know? okay. Yeah, yeah. And then like there's Mexico. Russia House goes. To Me I mean. That's you know, I'm trying big. to cover that. I'm trying to get Pasarkin. You know, that, that's, that's how yeah. huge how the love of the culture is. Yeah, yeah. You know, and the are why we continue to do what we do, even mm. though we're not we're not descendants of the Philippines, right? But we give so much in our love and our soul. Yeah, to right. And to to propagate it, and you know, it, and you and, know. and I hope they 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 you know that they, they, they see that. I think you know. they, I think they're starting to, to be honest. Yeah. You know, I mean, unless they just yeah. live, you know, yeah. if they got any type of social media or internet. Yeah, I understand they had the whole, uh, I don't know, the whole thing, but the non-Filipino thing, like who should be whatever and everything. I always miss, you know what? I I get it, man. I I I, I get it. You know, I I I I totally. Actually, get that's it. my next. That's my next area to ask you. Actually. What's up, man? Well, it kind of tie it kind of ties into it. So when we when we did the test run, we kind of we were kind of touching upon something, and mm -hmm. what that something was was hypocrisy in FMA, and yes. that's what we decided to kind of coin it. So to kind of 
segue into it without uh, and all that. So what what do you see far as that goes? What do you far as hypocrisy in FMA? What do you see and where do you see it or identify it? Well, so when I so so when I started Filipino martial arts and then I when I got with Grand Tuan Gaye, you know, uh, he tells me like, like Rob, you make sure you teach, you know, you you teach the Filipinos and everything like that. So I was on a mission, right? Mm -hmm. And 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 the thing is here in LA, the Filipino Americans, it's 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 strange, okay? So they talk about brown pride, brown culture, right? And then they talk about black, uh, uh, black, you know, what, you know, all that good stuff, right? And so I'm like, okay, you know, they do that. But then when I want to go teach the Filipino community, Filipino Americans, we're talking about like the 20s and the 30 year olds and all that, like that. Mm. They don't want nothing to do with it with me. Wait, wait, I say I'm brown. Well, what's what's going on? I mean, my my family's from Puerto Rico. You know, we come from this. You know, that Puerto Rico was was colonized by the Spanish the same year as Philippines. You know, my father is a, uh, a he's, he's black Puerto Rican. You know, his family. You know, I have the Negro in me, African in me. You know, from the roots. You know, so it, it's just so funny. They'll say like, "Yeah, brown," you know, and everything. And the next thing you know, it's like, you know, they don't want nothing to do with it, right? They so me practicing for so long, and I want to train, mm -hmm. but they would train. They would they would um, get, uh, go with a Filipino instructor, which is nothing wrong, of course. Yeah, but right. he's had like less than one year. She had less than one year, and they'll mm. do all these movements, and they'll say, "Wow, that's wonderful. That's that's amazing." And I'm like, "What?" And that is just like, no, they're just doing it because he's Filipino, or it could be Chinese culture as well, Chinese kung fu, Japanese karate, mm. you name Indonesia sila, you know, all the the, the 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 works. So I'm thinking like you get these these small like businesses in in in, in LA, or a community. And it's like, damn, I'm facing prejudice. I know. You I remember know? you were touching upon that the other night. Yeah. I'm just thinking, like, that was just really surprising to hear. Like, I would have never expected that. Well, A, in the LA, number one. And number two, based on you, you know, coming from the, you know, like, you know, you know you're coming from the perspective of, you know, you're brown too. And I, well, uh, and, and there's other, and there's other Filipino, like, uh, uh, organizations out here in LA. And I've been to, and they're just like very like I'm like oh like what am I like uh, like dude like you know I can swing it but but lately uh, 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 oh, I ran into uh, uh, an individual I remember we had a beef you know because <laughs> I went into a Philip uh, uh, into a, like a, like young like like thirties right and I I love the art so much right and I said to him you need <laughs> I go. You don't know Filipino martial arts? And he was like, no, man. Like, I dabble in it. Well, let, let me teach your culture. Right? Let me teach it. Let me teach Filipino martial arts. Oh, man. So I didn't see him, like, a, maybe a year or two years after. And I ran into yeah. him. And he was like, you know what, bro? When you told me, I was like, who the fuck are you? To t t you can teach me Filipino martial arts. That's what he said to me. That's what he thought in his head. But now he gets it. He was oh, like, okay. Yeah, he was like, "Oh, now I see why now, bro. Now I, see, I was like, he says, continue what you're doing, do what you do, and everything like that." But still, he is still biased. The fact that she learned from me, she has to right? right that he. Yeah, I know. I, I don't even know what to say. That's just like that's just so it, like it, you know, and I, I just talent. want to teach so much Filipinos, but it's the fact it's it's kind of like can Chinese or can they accept? A person of color teaching to mm -hmm. a, a a of of Filipinos or to Chinese martial artists or to you know Chinese or to Japanese. Remember Bruce Lee went through. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that dude, that dude, that dude was a Martin Luther King of of, of martial arts. You know, yeah, like you know, know I mean, and he's talking uh... every different color. But what's the point? Because you know what it is. I I, I understand because it it's like well, it's not true. What do you mean it's not true? Oh, because if you learn from a Filipino, then it's true, okay? Yeah. Or, but it's it's kind of like you got promoted to KI by Guru Burn Richardson. Who the hell is he? It's a white man. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, what does it matter? Just original dog brother, yeah, actually. No, it's, 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 and, and it's one of those things where like like you all need to like understand and wake up. It's a bigger it's a bigger world yeah. out there now. That's why I'm saying like the Europe 
And you know what's crazy, Rudine? Like, you've got men and women from Europe, Germany, Russia, all that, and even America, that knowing the fact they're facing that, and they still continue. They they continue their, their loyalty. They continue their mentorship. They continue their, you know, helping the, the teachers and everything like that. And they still face it. And you know why we continue to do what we do? It's because we love the culture and we love the Filipino martial arts. It's and in our blood. We love right. it. And it's one of those things, right? But it's different for, for me as a uh, – well, it's not this. It's, it's just – I don't know. It's just weird. I have to – No, it is. Uh, I mean, like, you know, when that whole thing yeah, – You know, they'll say brown this. They'll say brown this. Okay. All right. Well, what do you mean brown? I know. Brown Latinos or brown Filipinos? What's right, going you're on? Not, you know? but you're not brown. What, I guess you're you're not the right no, brown. Support your brown community. What do you mean? I'm I'm hearing this from them. Uh, you yeah. know, and it's uh. just like disturbing. But then you know, it's just one of those things where like you know what? Hopefully through they'll see the light, which one person did, mm. and then they'll see through my training and they'll see through my evident mm. and my authentic through my. They're like, okay. You know, this man is about, you know, really, really preserving the culture. Yeah. You know, because that's what I want to do. I want to preserve the culture. Sure. No, not yeah. So much, not so much populate the culture, but to preserve the culture, you know. So I think it's going to change. Yeah, that's what so yeah. it's just, it's just, uh, you know, uh, and I hope that for every martial arts that are, are in, in different of culture, just we know this, they, they, they love you all. They love the culture. Mm. And, you know, it's like if you go to Brazil or South America, I'm telling you right now, you see them learn Aikido or they're going to leave the Jap they're going to live the Japanese way. Have you noticed that, Guru Dean? If you get if, if you get a Kung Fu for a uh, foreigner or a European, they're going to live the Kung Fu way. You name it. Monastery, all that good stuff. I'm going to be I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to get decked out and everything. But they still man. don't get they don't get that. Again, like, hey, look here, I got straight A's, and they're just like, ah, uh, you know. Yeah, I know, right, right, exactly. Well, it doesn't matter because you're not that shade of brown that I need. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's like when that thing happened with me, what I was so perplexed about. Uh, well, there's a there's a bunch of reasons, uh, but not to like go back into it and open up a whole thing. Was that, you know, when I heard when I first heard non-Filipino, it just, you know, not to you know, get all deep in this and again, not to bring something up, but it really, it just, it went through me like a lightning bolt. Yeah. And the reason it is because I never thought, I never looked at what I was doing in that lens. I looked at it as like, okay, there's a void and nobody's interviewing people. Nobody's getting FMA, like all these people that are teaching and doing great things to be heard. Um, I didn't, I never looked at it like, Hey, I'm just, not, Hey man, you know, I'm just non-Filipino doing it. it. That never like occurred to me. It, it occurred to me like I'm a human being. I'm going to put my best foot forward and I'm going to try to fill this void. And right. my biggest concern is not my genetic makeup, but whether or not people would even listen to me. Like that was my biggest concern. Right. You know, like it never that's, occurred that's, to that's me. That's well. That's mine as right. well. Yeah. Right. It was like, huh. You know, they might not listen to me or they might I, I eventually might get crap two years into me doing this because i'm not filipino like it's just, <laughs> that's <laughs> why <laughs> that's why i was so grateful that tuhan mick akaras and tuhan jay bataklan and them they brought me into their home to the katupunan yeah that's a big deal that's huge. right it's like okay what more can i prove like you know so I asked Tuhan Mick, and I remember when I asked Tuhan Mick Uncle Ross during 2019, man, I broke. I was like, I was like, you know, and Tuhan Mickey, I don't understand. I'm like, you know, I'm 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 here and everything. And yes. he goes, no worries, brother. You're Filipino by heart. It's all in you, bro. Don't worry. You're more than welcome. I'll mm -hmm. talk to the men, uh, you know, and they brought me in as they're like, hey, your brother. I got the bone. And I say, oh my God, this is from the Philippines. Yeah. They bring me in. But you go over here in the U.S. It's like, you know, you, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, wow. I know. That's why I, I I can't think enough for uh, Tuhan Miki Akaraz and 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 Tuhan Jay Patakline, Tuhan Bob Rodriguez. Like, say, hey, you know what, brother? You're Katipunan. You're Katipon. You're here. And he always reminds me all the time. Tells me that like we you we your 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 service and everything is not forgotten all the time. I know what happened to like 
at your actions and words speaking for something. Wow. You know, but in regards of like, you know, I don't know, I know but yeah, anyway, but it'll, it'll come around. I think it's coming around. It's coming around. I do. Around. No, I think, it, I think it will continue to. I really do. Yeah, yeah, because... it's coming around. And I think the man that 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 had that uh, did the uh, uh, that the whole of that topic. Uh, I think they meant well. I, I don't think they're they're not. They're you know. I saw it. I was like, I get it. I get it. But no, it's I don't think they're bad. And I still to this day. That's why I went on Apollo because I wanted to make it very clear. Like, I don't harbor any anger. I don't think they're bad people. I no. still I still subscribe to their channel. I, yeah, I yeah. still want them in FMA discussion. So I made it very clear. Like, I don't want this. Like, I don't want to create this division. No, no, and, and I think they want the bad. They just want. They think in their mind what, what's best. You right. So that's the thing mm -hmm. too. Right. Because there's that we have two different mindsets, right? Mm. What's like Western mindset, and then there's the Eastern culture mindset, you know. And it's one of those things where you cannot assume or think like it's the same because it's not. So it's just one of those things where it's like, well, y y y yeah, you gotta be careful what you say and no, you know. But in, 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 at the end of the day, you know, like you know, Rubis is is, is toxic and you know and everything. But and, and, and again, at the end of the day, you know, in this society we're in right now and what's going on. You got to be very right now. Everything is PC. It's, it's I know it's super like, like you got to be yeah, very, very careful now because this new generation yeah, I mean, now they're gonna look at like what What do you mean? Yeah, I mean, you, got, you name no, it, it like hyper, that, all that stuff like that. Hypersensitivity, so like, you know, of course, the COVID COVID situation. Issues, all these things like that. So, yeah. and that takes a thing where like there's accountability to it, you know. Uh, I, I think they're on they're on the, they're on that track. It's just like, and I get it, man. But again, they're great, great men, and they just they're the same. They love their culture and yeah, all that. But yeah, I think it's one of those things where, like, hey, let's have a beer, let's keep it in the cave. You no, know? no, no, right. And that's that's kind of where I'm at with it. Like, I don't I don't have any any ill feelings. It's done with me. It's over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I've I've moved yeah, yeah. on. And, yeah, it's something that happened, and there was some learning from it. And all that. But what did um. I was gonna say here. So what are your okay? I mean, wow, this flew by, man. We're going on two hours. This just flew. Um, so what do you um just quickly just like what changes would you like to see in our community? It could be anything. You know, like, you know, like what, what changes would you like to see for the positive? Uh stop chasing ghosts and just train. <laughs> Sick. No. So I'm taking old, old extreme just, just legends. <laughs> have a good time and just train, you know, and and uh, just love everybody. No one's taking anything away from you, yeah. you know. Uh, I, I I always think there's a there, I, I, insecurity is the number one cancer. Oh, that and ego, and, and, I agree. And, 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 totally. And Filipino martial arts. I'm sorry, or any martial arts. It's, it's I, yeah, the number one thing. I'm like, what the hell are you insecure about? What, dude? What? I know. You know, plenty like, stupid, I, you, plenty you know, people like their savings. I mean, you know, you gotta, you gotta have a. Do you have a plan? Do you have a goal? Like, what is it that you, you're you're asking about? You know, know. you know, like no one's gonna take anything away from you. <laughs> I know. I know. No it's, one it's is. mine. It's mine. I don't care. If you're. I don't care if you're 40 years in the system. You're a grand man. No one's gonna take nothing away. Mm -hmm. What making more money than you? What? Oh uh, God! And, and FMA? Yeah. Yeah, really? What you gonna go cash? Come on now, man. You know we're all just that. that yeah. All that. All that takes, dude. It, it takes planning and years to be where to be, which you see out there today. Like, like for instance, like you, you, um, like if you see like two hundred J. To on Bill, to on all that, it, it took years to be where it it, oh, it yeah. came to be. That but now you got these, years. you got these. Mo I want to call it moderns, thinking like, oh, I'm gonna get there in five. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, the millennials. No, yeah, no, yeah. You you know, I'm like, let's think realistically here, man. Like, what is your? And I think I think a, a, a lot, and they forget the goal. Like, what is your goal? Why are you learning Filipino martial arts? Mm. Why? And how does that go in effect? And why is it that it's becoming this way? This crane is all this negativity. Mm. You know, I, 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 I don't. I'll tell you what. Uh, for me, um, if they want to uh, say this, well, then let's play. Let's play. Mm. You know, let's let's like you know get your stick. You know, let's play. You know, let's grab your, you know, grab your knife. Let's play. 
Yeah, let's know, play and got, put everything on. Your, your you know, your play. Let's play. You yeah. know? And then we can start talking. That's why Google yeah. that's why Google I, know, Google it's, I tell you, there's Bro, not... that's why Google Richard Basile says from the beginning, until I see you throw a good job and you can hit somebody real good with it, yeah. then you can talk. Until then, right. there ain't no talking. You know? Until you really can see what you can, you know? And there's and there is a notable of good intermediate students out there I've seen, senior students out there I've seen, mm. you know, and they're not talking, they're like doing the do. You know? Let me see. Like I, I, I right. recently Paul Rubio just posted of, of something uh with the, the Lescas, these two guys sparring. Oh, the lightning scientific guys. Yeah. 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 Like one had like all these crazy gear, like like from the eighties. Like he just like yeah. okay, I'll slap it on, whatever. Where either uh, Ryan Cordero, uh, Sachi, or yeah, uh, dude, man, I saw that video and that that is like straight up old school, old school. Like yeah, they were, they, like link, they were they were like ranging. You could see the line cuts, and when they hit, they hit. They made contact, but yeah. they made it count. You know. That's some that's some like straight up like eighty. Those stuff. guys are they're great guys. As a matter of fact, Ryan Cordero um, is moving is coming back in January to New Jersey, and Sachi lives there. And oh really? I can't wait. To, I can't wait. To, I'm gonna go drive down there and finally. Um, Sachi came up when Vico came to Canada, but really. You know what? And I knew they were. I, I, I said that's this is less guys. Oh, these guys. Yeah, no, they're good guys. Good I guys, I, so. I had a huge appreciate. I, I have appreciation yeah. for. For all, but I do my search and, and no disrespect to all, but like when I saw these guys and these guys were let's go and they have a little bit mixture and everything, I said, okay, this is some good stuff. This, see what I'm saying? No, no, no. Like, they, like, and, like you see those guys hit in the way, okay, get in there. Yeah. Go, you know, they're under, you talk a lot. You, you, my you know, load, there was Ario. You know, it's like, come on. No, good guys. You know, like, too. It, it, it comes out to the days of the old of masters. Oh, you want to, oh, okay, let's play. Yeah. Right? That's where it came down to. Let's play. No, you know, I agree. Yeah, no, I agree. Meaning, Good meaning, guys out there, just I just want you to guys train, have fun, and you'll get there. You'll get what you're asking for. Trust your teachers, okay? Trust in your, you know, respect your peers, you know, and 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 everything will be fine. And as for leadership, man, men and women, I'll say this right now. Let's get get the shit straight. <laughs> It's just promote positivity, not negativity. Promote no, your know. students. Promote like you know, like hey, let's share amongst others. And if they ask, oh, why is it the other KI people uh, don't want to come with us? Oh, well, they have busy. You know, it's like I tell my kids, right? I have their, uh, you know, me and my me, me and my wife were divorced, right? They said, why is mom like this? Oh, because um, she likes to go over the rainbow. I make a story. Right, yeah. because that's what they need to hear. Yeah, uh, they don't not, not 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 none of that stuff. You know, I want to make sure they love their uh the mother. Yeah, and it's just better dad, for everybody. You know? It doesn't matter yeah. what the mom did to me or whatever. I make sure they have a good outlook on their on the on the yeah. values of the family and the mom. Just, you yeah, know, it's mentally healthy. So, yeah, same thing. It's same concept. You go with with students out there. You know, yeah. no, I, I think it's great advice. Yeah, and hopefully. Yeah, and last thing, the, the the martial arts community is not the law. <laughs> it's law. <laughs> There's no judge and jury for crying out loud, dude. You have violated. I don't know where you come up with this, man. I really don't. But there, you're no no. Let me tell you something. You're no judge and jury. Uh, um, you're, no, not. you're not. The you're way not the law. I don't know what they. Get a bandit together, and I'm like, "What is going on? You're in violation. Like, this ain't Salem's. This not this not witch Salem, or you know, <laughs> good lord, you are it's, in it's martial arts, man. It's martial arts. It's fun. I know, I know, right? At the end of the day, if it's not fun, what the hell are you doing it for? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you know, gosh. It's like who on Bill McGrath said, it's physical activity. It's like PE. You know, he says so it right there. You want to face it. It's a it's recreational a physical activity. It's right. You know, absolutely. Yeah. I know some people yeah. take it way too seriously, like they're gonna be in combat tomorrow. <laughs> you wanna to go combat? Join the military, dude. 
You want to go combat? Exactly. Go You're non combat. Go to my private security. I got yeah. my, my best bro right now, my best dude who helped me. He, he's over there right now. Okay. But that's different. Uh, like he signed up for that. He liked it. But for the rest of us, it's freaking recreational slash yeah. sport. You're sport. not, you're not going to combat tomorrow. Yeah. Like, okay, get tacked up. Let's go race to the fight. You know what I mean? I'm telling you. Oh, Something man. Way, way, way too serious. Way too serious. No, so you know, like, I, you're, you're, not, you're not getting paid for it. You're not going to, you know, you're not going to. I know. We're all making millions, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's amazing but like you know don't worry you like just continue your training and just you know love everybody and train learn from everybody yeah right. you know? i could be biased but i want to learn like i saw those two guys with leska like okay now i want to go listen leska you know yeah i know man. i want to learn i want to learn from ki i've been wanting to learn ki from uh 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 uh, Guru JJ, which is an amazing person, but you know, he made a, a, a commitment and I, I respect that commitment. Like he, what he says, you know, mm -hmm. and then like instructors as well. And that's another thing too. It's like, if you get into FMA or you get to any martial arts systems or anything like that, you got to understand the define of what the goal and the objective is. Cause there are arts out there in the FMA that's, they have want nothing to do about promoting. They want to do about being archaic. Right, it's like the when I used to jap in Japanese system called the Kodiu, the, 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 it's about the rule, it's about the school, it's not about you. Mm. But there is Filipino martial arts systems that you, you have to understand and respect of these monogamous gurus that they're not out for the money, which is not or anything like that. They're really about keeping the integrity in the archaic yeah. of art. So, if that's not your road, don't go into it, you know, because mm. now you're because now you're asking for committing yourself. To, to an art that you know it's not about you it's committing to the art it's a different mindset two different things of the goals which are what you're trying to go for yeah. I, so people want to say like okay i want to learn from uh say uh uh say i want to learn from this instructor from ki but he's are it's archaic very archaic and you think in your mindset like okay i want to go this and i want to open a school forget it then you're not no, gonna, not, you're yeah, really yeah, not yeah. going to really understand what the art is about yeah, you know, I I what, is trying to, what is trying to teach yeah but there are certain formalities to that and that's not just school of filipino arts but that's all in chinese as well as and they chose that path so yeah. if you want to go on that path and they say you work at hughes or or north of grumman and that's your day job and you want to learn this art but not to just preserve it but not to like go out to open a school then okay that's the right that's the right mindset okay but if you want to open a school and you want to go into an art that you know it's secretive, you know it's kept archaic, and you want to keep it that way, then that is not for you to go. So do your research. Yeah, yeah so right, I know. Yeah, no good advice. What yeah. um? So last but not least, like, what are your future goals? Uh, I mean, like, so you're obviously you're continuing with the three sanctions. I think it's great. Under I tell you, when I look at the three sanctions you're in, man, I look at PTA like Jared's crew there, man. Those guys are fighters, man. Like when I look at Bikita, when I look at Bikita Turja, like, like those guys are the fighters, man. Like there's, yeah. you know, I have so much respect oh, for what he let, does. Let me, tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you that that so the the pit bulls, the pit bulls of the PTK, the whole spine started from New York. The pit bulls came from Grand from Grand to Angahe. That's I remember. I remember hearing about the pit bulls. Yeah, yeah, and that's why you see all these stick guys like the dog brothers because the predecessors is from PTK. No, look yeah. at it. I mean, Eric yeah. Nels. Yeah, Eric Nels. Nels. That's great. That's another uh, fantastic uh, man. I yeah. love to meet. You know, and uh, but if you look at PTA and and, and the Katupana, those guys. No, they, I'm sure. No, I'm sure. Yeah, you know, I, I, I guess I'm talking very, about um, state. They're wide. very nice. Right, but I swear you give them a stick in their hand, forget it. They transcend and they become like evil can evil machines, like just going there sparring. No. Yeah, it's like, no. whoa, it's like you know, it's 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 really transcend the way how they 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 they're so humble and very, but then when mm. you put stick in and they spar, they spar, they mm. spar. Yeah, so it's yeah. like it's one of those things, but yeah, you're right, like PTA guys, they spar. PTA when I look guys, at statewide, when I look at P. When I look at PTK within the states, like I, you know, like I, when I use that barometer, like yeah. they just come to mind. You know what I mean? You know, yeah. Yeah. Gotta be honest, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? So well, what are your 
if you really see what's going on, like, you know, I, I understand there's, you know, on the FMA out there, mm. they don't like PTK, right? But the reason why is, I mean, look what you look what you got. You got PTTA, huge organization, right? Mm. You got PTI, huge organization, right? Yeah. You've got a PTK Smith, all that community and the organization. I call it all over that, right? I call it, man. Like, you know, over the place, you got, man. And you, got, uh, uh, and you have uh, PTK Katupan, all of that, right? Yeah. And then you got up in Maryland, like, uh, uh, to Arlene, the color de Perez, like, they all, you know. All right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. So they're all over. So we're doing something right. They're doing something right. Oh, no, right. no, no. Like, no, I, I totally, I am. I totally agree. It's like, and, and you know what? And KI can be the same way, man. But yeah, it, or, or just, but it's just like KI I, needs to adapt some of the PTK. Uh, I'll leave it at that before I get into trouble. But <laughs> no, I, you know what? I you know what? I support uh, uh, Guru Brandon Ricketts all the way, man. Like, like oh, uh, that's why. Oh yeah, that's why I'm behind that. that young the, guy. You know, and he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a young blood. He's ready, mm -hmm. man. Like he's mm -hmm. you know, and like I'm re I, I support that man 110. percent Like no, like, I know, I know. Like yeah. like you know, for good reason. And, uh, for good hopefully, reason. and and I and uh, damn man, yo, know, I just support everybody, and I just hope like everybody just comes to, like just train and have a good time and everything like that. You know, I know it's so easy. At the end of the day, <laughs> there's only one master. Yeah, at the end of the day, so that's the yeah. thing. That's that's the ironic of it, right? Like. They're all da, 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 da. and I'm like, okay, are you Manong Rami? No. Then shut up. <laughs> it's pretty are you, crazy. Are you Master Tony? No. Shut up. Yeah. You know, like. Are you Master Rick? No. Are you yeah. Master Bobby Tabo? No. <laughs> shut up. You know, like. You know. Ah. <laughs> Jeez. KI concepts layer on top of K uh, like they were meant to be. Huh. Think about that. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, Paulo's comment: KI concepts layer on top of PTK concepts like they were meant to be. I don't oh know. yeah. Oh no, no. Let me tell you. Let me tell you on that, Grudin. I I see the relationships. That's yeah. why I want to start KI because it's Blade. And yeah, I see, yeah, definitely. I see the sister that the, the the close relation with PTK. Yeah. Right. So that's my that's my goal is I'm still learning more about the, the blade, and KI is 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 the next on the yeah, list. Yeah, like you look at KI stick. I mean, it's yeah, it's nowhere like. Uh, 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 I I seen the stick. It's just it, I think it's it's more of like how I seen it, and it's really really good. It's, it's really, definitely it, uh, on it, it, Vagada, really knowing to find gaps. Like in other words, I'm gonna be honest with you, KI. Like, um, I mean, I have clinch work just from doing clinch and all that, but your standard KI guy is not going to have, doesn't, is not going to have that. Generally, generally speaking. I right, mean, right, right. Generally, generally speaking, not across the board, generally speaking, you know, like that clinch, your man, your right. in works under, you know, but long range, finding gaps and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I like to, I want to learn KI. And I really like to apply it, like learn it, and I want to apply that in sparring. I would, I love to to see that, you know. It can be and, done. And, you just got to know yeah, where to yeah. be, and if you're getting no charged, fan. no, 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 no fanning, no, no. none of that, no breaking. Well, break. we got to talk to GM. We got to talk to GM Pogi on that though. He might want, you know, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Nico, no, that is for cutting. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, man. Man. I just posted that the other day. That just cracks. Um, no, I posted an interview with him. I'm sorry. I looked at that video the other day. It just cracks me up, man. It's just that whole thing. Hey, you know what? And, and other things too. I forgot. Like uh, I know I'm out of three, but like within, also within, uh, uh, like in in, in I call e, you yeah. know, Juan Apollo. I love their educational system. Like it's really, really, really good. You know, like they 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 have a a, a really strong format. They teach, and, learn and, to and teach, and I watch mm -hmm. how they do the Augustine like, knife, and I love what they do. Yeah. You know, and, and, and like I said, it's it's not everyone's different. Mm -hmm. Like the, everybody has a different uh, of of that's the beauty of if you really notice it too. Like uh, each, so like if you really want a good educational and good uh, 
uh, instructional too as well. Like I, I, I like uh, uh, Tuana Paulo Ladra. Now, if you ask why, mm-hmm. I, 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 I try to go into it because there's a, um, there's a commitment to that. I'm not ready for that yet. See, I'm, I'm being honest with myself. Mm. You know, I'm, be, I'm being, I'm being super honest with myself. You know, like uh, if you go to Ampala, like, hey, let's get ready to rock and roll. You know, yeah, he was on, man. He, he presented go. really you know, well. Okay? You know, I, I, I like that. You know, yeah. And I see, I've been to two of his uh, workshops of the in Las Vegas, and they were mm. phenomenal. You know, so it's like they're they're all they're all awesome, man. They all have something to give. That's why it's yeah. like, oh my god, Fifty K is like. No, he's really like a good guy. He was on here and he really like he presented well, like what he does and how the whole, you know, creating teachers and uh, yeah, he's doing some I, he's doing some great things. Yeah, it really goes back to you really think about it, like it, you going back to the um, the the militaristic side of like the Taekwondo or the Karate, right? It builds an etiquette. Mm-hmm. I think that's really good if you think about it, because if you look at FMA, there's not really much etiquette or like when it comes to yes, sir, no, sir, or anything like that. Have you noticed that? Yeah. And so I if, think the foundation if you take that, is there. Yeah. It in, it's really, really, it, it really yeah. puts a strong foundation for leadership and for good. I, um, I agree with you. Like he pulls off that and obviously he's making it work. I mean, the formula he's got, I mean, so yeah, if I agree with you, like using that traditional martial arts respect and all that, to create the teachers, I mean, I think it's like a farm. It's like a farm team. Yeah, you, you think. Yeah. About it. You know yeah. what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then Romel, you know, like, mm. and then, I, I, I studied, I took his uh, online courses uh, back from August when I started with the whole uh, COVID. And that's another prefer, like, you know, everything like he, that. That's you know? we had him, and he, man, I liked, I liked what he had to say too. So they're all great. They're all great, but when it comes down to it, number one thing for me is the leadership, yeah. and and the goals. Like, uh, if I see any leadership that like, if I see anything that looks funky or wonky or, or like whatever, or bye bye, it's, it's getting too much church for me. I'm out. Yeah. Yeah, I've been. I got too many knives in my back and too many scars. In my back. You know, I think that's. I think that's a nice thing when you. You know, when you're getting in this journey and you, you get some maturity as far as like what you what you really know, what you want and all that, you're able to kind of like, no, man, I don't think so. You know what I mean? It was before yeah. you might have reluctantly chose that and ultimately regret it. But as you kind of like you said, some through experience and all that, maybe some knives in your back, you yeah. kind of really know what to look for and you can see it kind of. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, so. and by the way, guys. It's me. Uh, I I don't know what it is like in in, in, the, in PTK, but it's like it's only me, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's wrong. What did I do? I'm like, come on. <laughs> you didn't. You didn't do anything, man. But this is this has been so much fun. I I appreciate you coming on. It's been a blast. Oh, thank you for having me, man. Thank you oh, for yeah. having me. I really appreciate you so much, and I appreciate the. Uh, uh, for all that, uh, uh, you know, referred me and reckon, you know, to you. And uh, I really thank those uh, of those individuals. Uh, so I thank you for the uh, wonderful support referring to Guru Dean. And Guru Dean, I thank you for giving me the time and being an honor to come to your channel, speak for you. And I thank you more than anything. Like, I think you, you hold like the biggest responsibility uh, amongst any other teacher I know because here you are, like, you bringing this wonderful community you don't have to do it you don't get paid mm. to do it because you sure. love it <laughs> that's for sure you take your time yeah. away from your family activity and all that mm. stuff like that and dealing with that and here you are still going so i thank you so much for keeping that uh you know together with fma discussion oh yeah. i appreciate it and i got i got some good help uh you know brian rodriguez tom Pena. i mean uh you know martin we got uh, it also just well, uh, thanks to you all. Yeah, good Tom Pena. Uh, 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 all respect to you, Guru. Yeah, uh, I love your uh, Alaska. You know, I, I I can't wait to train with you. Oh, I got so many names. I know there's like so many people you want. You know, like, you know, with. I know it's like uh, such a short short amount of time, but too many people you want to like cross weapons with. But uh, but yeah, I know. Thank you. So what I do is here is I download it and then um, I'll post the YouTube. Um, on your wall the uh, version or i can message whatever you prefer but i'll definitely share it to your wall or through uh our messenger there yeah 
Yeah. Awesome. So, but yeah, don't be a stranger, man. Keep posting an FMA discussion and all that. Uh, we need we need some good stuff like you put in there, you know. So. Oh, by the way, live blade has values. Live blade does, <laughs> has value. <laughs> live blade life matters. <laughs> People are like, why the hell are you swinging a live blade for? What the hell is that going to do? Nah. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Those you just gotta like pretend you don't see it and just move on. <laughs> I know. It's, it's, it's honestly, I'll tell you what, guys, if you learn how, if you learn the blade, yeah. then you'll understand the mastery of the stick. Why, how you, in geometrically and spatial, like how the stick moves mm. and how, is how it translates to the stick. Very, very new of people ignore this. I'm like, nah. yeah, you might, you might but, want to, you know, that's why PTK is very super science. It's very scientific, man. As far as the geometrics and yeah yeah definitely uh, yeah so but all right well hey you take care of yourself thanks yes guru thank you so much man i appreciate you again having me on oh and, my uh, pleasure forward, my pleasure i look forward to uh, uh more to come and uh love yeah. you all thank you for being here i appreciate you i know you don't like me but some of you love me but i love you all you know so no worries okay <laughs> <laughs> You t all right, man. You take care. I have a feeling you'll be back on the show. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, girl. Okay. You take care. I salute you, man. Thank <laughs> so, you, sir. Bye-bye. Right. Bye. Bye. Wow. That was a great one. Uh, I had a feeling I was going to get When I was doing a test run with that cat, I just uh, – there's things that are just gelling. i got to be honest. You just get – that's why I do the test runs because I know where I need to go, how much time, and um, – I, you know, I click into their personality and all that, that. And the test runs are a good place to do that, to be honest with you. So who's next? Sadly, I actually have no idea. I think Guru Tom Pena is doing an interview. And sadly, I should know this, um, but I don't. Uh, but I can tell you who is coming up the rest of the month. And we're having the uh, Laundra Brothers, Paulo to and Bobby, will be coming on. Uh, who else? Uh, 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 Volps is coming on. Uh, owner of Volps. I can't pronounce his name. I don't even want to attempt to do that. He's coming on. Uh, who else? Uh, Darren uh, T-Bone is coming on. Uh, a theme episode. Tuan Jared and Ken uh, Jowers is coming on. And uh, Shelly Mishop is coming on. hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And I think, oh, Nelson and Chris, uh, multi stocking guys. So, definitely some great people coming up. I just unfortunately don't know who is next. Uh, shame on me. Uh, lastly, man, Christmas raffle a week from today, seven more days. We are at 450 bucks, 50 bucks shy. Uh, actually, we'll get there because I haven't bought my tickets yet. But uh, yeah, and all that money is going to charity, all of it, not keeping any of it. So that's raffle. It's going to be uh, next Sunday. We're going to run it live in FMA discussion and all that. So that's going to be a great thing, you know, giving to those in need in the Philippines. And that's all we're about. We don't keep any of the money, all the, you know, the money we get from the channel and all that. So, all right, folks, thank you for those who uh, tuned in and uh, watched. I will see you. And, oh, if you have, if you missed the beginning of this show, Please check out the beginning. Brian Sun played an intro, blues intro, while Brian announced the episode. Unbelievable. His son, how much talent he has. I mean, definitely check out the beginning. Um, you check it out now or when I download it, but uh unbelievable. You 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 gotta you, you gotta check that out, man. It, it's just fantastic. Uh we're ready. Uh I folks, don't go anywhere. Um all right, how do I do this? Uh, I just need to send another, uh, they're going to do, uh, they're going to finish <laughs> here. Uh, oh, actually he's, I don't need to do that. He's here. All right. Check this out, guys. Check this out. Uh, oh, actually, he's, I don't need to do that. He's Go ahead. You guys are on.
watching, everybody. Episode 232. I'm going to say a good night. Good night to your routine. Good night, everyone out there. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Man. Yeah, so they're going to be doing the intros, man, to the show. Uh, how cool is that, man? <laughs> All right, folks. Uh, well, I was kidding. Take care. See you guys next time.